That's enough of that. We don't need to listen to that again. What is up? Probably the final Deadly Premonish stream. Going on right... Whoops. No, not that button. This button. Probably what I was doing here for a second. Probably the last one. Let me just double check, make sure everything's looking good. Yeah, Mike looks like it's working. The desktop's definitely picking this shit up. Good. All of this is, looks good. Doesn't sound crackly at all. That's a nice uh, change of pace. Previously during the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? Nick is leaving the bar. Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. No, she's not. Arrest for the attempted murder she's of definitely Diane. dead. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. That's not really what happened last time. Kind of what happened last, last time. Last time he went to Harry's mansion, did a bunch of weird puzzles, found out about that government conspiracy, went to Thomas's place, found that he's cross dressing. What up, Garlock? That's a neato burrito you have there? Thank you, man. I appreciate you. You have a pretty so nice looking burrito as well, perhaps. Get off your hands? Oh, heck no. You can't have my burritos, have though. Make a fuss. That's crazy. Thanks for stopping by the stream, though. That gives us plenty of time to find a way to view. We don't the share food switch. here. We're not good at sharing food. Right, we did this a little bit yesterday. There's zombies now because it's uh, past ten. Rule device episode twenty. So I think there's only like a few episodes. Well, not a few. There's like six episodes left. Oh, that's not the button that we need to press. I always forget how to turn the lights on. I don't know why. So there's like, I mean, I could go fishing now, but for Tabitha, I think we're just gonna chalk that one up as a loss though. Just because uh, there's a bunch of fucking zombies everywhere as you could probably tell. And I came by my chat earlier, so I was pretty happy. Oh, nice, dude. Garlock, I don't know if I knew you streamed. Hmm? No, nothing. That's pretty cool. Just my imagination. I'm gonna drop a follow. We're done with this. Yeah, Nano uh, definitely enlivens the, the chat room when he's around. That's for sure. <laughs> oh boy, that LSD's hitting good. Anyone else back crack when they got in the car? <laughs> Don't get out of the car, they're zombies. Obviously, you're just going absolutely crazy. Oh, right, it's this bit. For some reason, this is... We're doing this. Why? I don't know. Just keep running. This is probably the only time you might ever need to use a stabilizer. Because uh, there's a whole lot of running here. For the obvious reason that there's zombies everywhere, you don't really want to stop. Everywhere else, it's kind of like, eh, when are you ever going to be in a scenario where you can't do this? You know what I mean? Even now, it's like, they're not going to catch me. Oh, except for them birds. I forgot about them birds. Those birds are the worst, man. If you were wondering what that big, like, white lightning thing was. It's a bird. That noise was also a bird. All this shit's is birds. Those are birds. All those are birds. See, I don't know why you can't just do this in your car, but you know, who am I to say? Not this way, Zach. Whoop. We need to keep her in sight. I went the wrong way because I was looking at the birds. I thought we were going to the Zabar, but I guess not. Oh, oh, don't don't get that that bar all the way up. That'd be no good. Such a weird, 
dissonance between the music and the zombies crawling everywhere trying to murder your face. It's a pretty, it's a pretty deadly premonition moment. And we're almost at my favorite part of the entire series. I love the part where you're in the past. It's very good. Oh my god. Wait a minute. We're all the way back here. We were definitely supposed to go this way, right? Yeah. Okay, pay attention this time so we don't have to do it a third time. She's over there. No oh, birds, leave me alone. Oh. Okay, playing that Disney Dreamlight Valley. What? She told you to go this way. Was I just too, going too slow? Where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, you're, what the hell? That was weird. <laughs> I did absolutely go here. They were like, no, you didn't do it fast enough, I guess. Thanks, Anna. I was gonna say, I wanna look behind you. Oh god! It's the man's! It's the rainy day murderman! Yeah, there's not much left to this game. I think we could probably finish this today. Might take a little bit longer than three hours, but. We could probably get pretty. I'll just finish it. Whoa. <laughs> Is something supposed to happen there? Or... Take, a, take a little break. You bragged to me about how, how good he was on Bloodborne? Is that true? Was he good? I did not watch his Bloodborne playthrough because I've literally never played Bloodborne. The forest myself. And one day I actually want to play it, Although I think so I didn't want to spoil it, so I don't know. I think he just did something right the first time. So he, he's acting like he's the best at it ever. I think that's the thing. As if people never, like, beat bosses their first try in Dark Souls or something. It's like, I don't know. He's, he's probably better than I am, but again, I've, like, never played the game. Played, like, ten minutes? My friend's house? Oh no, they're on fire. No, it's bad. I don't like it when they're on fire. They run very fast. It's not even on. What was that music coming from, York? Have another cigarette about it, why don't you? I never understood why they make you watch the fucking static every time you start a new one of these profiles. It's like, is this doing it for anyone? Damn, you weren't there either? I don't think he just, you know. <sighs> Too much maybe he was good. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. We'll just we'll, we'll just neg him. Just neg him, just say you were better. That's all. That's all you have to do. Say you were definitely there, and you are better. Neg him. That's the strategy. That's how I... <laughs> that's how I always deal with the Whopper. <laughs> with Nano, I mean. Yeah, turn it on, why not? Ah, you're better. <laughs> Look at this gameplay. You 
got country ham? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. What, I mean, how many, how many hams did he get in Bloodborne? Probably zero. I mean, he'd, I mean, he'd probably still be playing if he was going for ham percent in Bloodborne. So, you know, he's not that good. He's probably, he's basically on easy mode. There sure are a lot of mannequins here. And someone's like installing some pipe work. Oh, are you the, are you the maintenance man? How many people do you know of Country Ham? At the moment, I don't know anyone with Ham. Because the only person, only fridge I know is my fridge. And we don't have Ham. Oh, we gotta push the box for some reason. Oh no, they're running. We gotta do all the running. Oh, no, push the thing though. Okay, keep running though, keep running, because he's gonna catch up with us. Oh dear lord. Can you stop with the pushing? Oh, we got a lot of pushing to do. Oh no, he's gonna get me! No, go, just go, just go. No, go, go, go! Oh my god! did it I think bro fix your suit that is not how you're supposed to wear that oh god it's another one of these hell yeah Chillinoy nation Chillinoy nation why are we talking about country ham I got a country ham that's why okay just pick one it's ZR I think is what you press thank you for stopping by the stream by the way bear. I appreciate you and Garlock showing up for the what is I expect to be the grand finale of this game. Is it R or L? I can't remember. Uh I guess we'll find out. I don't know what it is about streaming where you just become an idiot and forget what you're doing all the time, but I do. No, don't go that way. No, don't go that way. R. Okay, I'm going to take my finger <sighs> off the left. The like ham finale. <laughs> Bro, you're going to flip your shit when you see how many turkey sandwiches I have. You thought the ham was good. Oh, God. It's hard to convey the SH sound in text without misspelling it. I know. <sighs> The Chillinoy Nash. Know what I'm saying? Where I, are I think. You? Go out. <laughs> now, now I might not be that. I might not be the world's best deadly premonition player, but I do believe that going out is going to get me killed. <sighs> I do believe that one's gonna that one's gonna do it for me. Then you're gonna get the boom 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 noise. We tried talking to him about why he does this. Um, no. We've talked to everyone he knows about why he does this. Yeah, that's definitely not where I am. And debate him and put him on YouTube. Yeah, just own him with facts and logic. Oh, look at speak of the devil, Garlock. Did you see that? This Nano is playing fucking Pokemon Sword. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just like have a quick little therapy session. No, you gotta humiliate him with facts and logic. That's the that's how you get people to believe what you believe, right? You just like accost <sighs> them verbally Zach, until they believe what you time. believe. Let's go. I don't know why you think this is a waste of time. We just found the murderer. He was right in here. 
Look at all this agent honor. I'm gonna be so freaking honorable. I don't know what makes you think it's a waste of time. It's like, what do you th what do you hope to accomplish? You found the murderer. Also, did you see how look at these light switches? Look how high these light switches are. You could headbutt this light switch on. Where does short just York short? Is York just like incredibly short? Oh, he's still here, man. Handle it college students owned. Gone sexual. I love that you blow him a kiss after five after he throws the axe. He's 5'11. <laughs> yeah, that's a 5'11 thing. Being able to headbutt the light switch. Pokemon Shield is UK propaganda. <laughs> Is that is that right? As someone who didn't play that series of Pokemons, I have no I have no uh, evidence to suggest that you Bullseye. might be wrong. Yes, Bullseye. Yes. But that was some pretty bad aiming, if I do say so myself. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh no! I gotta evade! Oh. I totally evaded you, but whatever. I always forget the buttons on the Switch. It's like, why, bro, did you reverse the buttons? Ah! Okay, I was gonna say, did that not go through? Because I did that. No, no, no! He Dikembe Mutumbo'd me. Is this the way I was going? Or is that the way I came from? I think this is where I came from. Because that door... No, wait a minute. Fuck, it's literally the same way. You interrupted him while he was sewing a million skirts? Oh, it's wigs. They're trying on wigs and stuff. See, is this where I was? Should have checked the map. It's too late now. I, I have a feeling this is exactly where I was. This is exactly where I was, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it went the wrong way. He was making skirts. The forms still have... Still had them on and everything. Really? Yeah, I mean, there's no head, so I guess it can't be a wig. The idea is it's supposed to be, like... It's supposed to be like, oh, you know, we're tra tracking down Thomas, who was... It turns out is uh, cross-dressing, and then perhaps involved in these murders. But, uh, and they found it because they found his wig, but... You're right. Those ones, they ain't got no head. How could they? How could that be for wigs if they ain't got no head? You need to have a head to wear a wig. Those mannequins do not have heads. Excuse me? Can I help you? Someone's having a, a real, uh... A real bad time in one of these stalls. He's a seamstress? That might be it. Maybe he's just making uh, skirts because he's gonna wear them too. Okay, that one's locked. I'm gonna bust open with a zombie in it in five seconds. When I try to open the door, it's gonna burst open. Oh, hello, hello. What is this? A toiler? Huh? Blood or hair? I can't really tell. Oh, blood. Huh. Cameraman, are you okay? Thomas McLean. Ooh, Jeopardy. I'm right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was the ladies' room. I should have figured because there's no urinals. Should we discover a new species and call it Nanowop? Yeah, we should. Only if it's like a, a really, like a small bacteria, like totally 
Mm -hmm. Totally insignificant and great. Like uh, oh, a weave to. Yes. Nice know. shot. I'm just teasing him now. That's nasty. I know. I'm sorry. I love Nano. I do. We like teasing each other. He calls me. What the fuck? An MP5? Yeah, basically. I think this is actually an MP5. I think you're right. It's an infinite ammo MP5. Chambered in 10 millimeter. Look at look at how many bullets are in this. Look at this. Have you ever seen any magazine this big in anything ever? This would be like a quite like a quintuple drum magazine. This is like an insane. Your gun would be like melted to the floor at this point if you put this many rounds through it this fast. The barrel would be pointed straight down. One time, but it was long ago. <laughs> We got Thomas's sheriff's badge. Slightly used. We don't need a profile. What is this music? I never remember hearing that music. Silent Hill 3 is an unlimited Uzi. That's pretty cool. In a game like Silent Hill 3, that's pretty useful. This one's really useful too, actually. This one you get almost immediately. You can get this one like pretty early on, and it's pretty much the only gun you need in the game. There's like some that make it a little bit easier, like the, the shotgun. Infinite shotgun helps for ex exactly in this moment. Because otherwise you'll be doing this for like an hour. Because these little bitches are the worst. I hate you bitches. Shut up. Shut up. Ah. Uh, oh, then you gotta dodge it. One sec, I'll, I'll check chat in a second here. This one's important so I don't end up fighting this thing for five minutes. Is this still alive? Are you serious, bro? You're supposed to be dead by now. Dick? There we are. I was about to hate to say it, I'm gonna buy a PS5 for Silent Hill 2. Really? Did it look good? I've heard mixed things about the, the remake thing. I don't even know if I'm gonna... I don't think I'll get it. I have Silent Hill 2 still on PS2. It's like, eh, that seems like the definitive version. And Eel's here. Thanks for stopping by, Eel. Every four years, one representative for each nation pilots a machine called a Gundam. Are you, is it the plot of G Gundam? Gundam fight the pilots fight. Yes, it is. This is You're just re regurgitating the plot of G Gundam. Dude, I finished that series. It was so bad, dude. It was so bad. It aged so poorly. I'm happy to report that Gundam Wing is still fire and is good. It is very good. Um, G Gundam. Very not good. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> Maybe I'm buying into the hype? The, the, I'm like, I'm always, I'm really skeptical about this, dude. I still remember, like, the first time they announced, like, Silent Hills, like, being in, in made in America. And everyone was like, oh, how bad could it be? I mean, it's not gonna be like the room again. And then you were wishing it was like the room again. <laughs> But it's Silent Hill 2? But it's Konami, dude. Konami can fuck anything up. Literally anything. They fucked up PT! People are still talking about P- Oh no, no, no! Don't do that! Hey, fuck off. People are still talking about PT. And they didn't- and they fucked it up. They fucked it up beyond repair. They've ruined the situation for them. The thing isn't even invisible. L monster. I know, it's not even really invisible at all. It's a really bad... This is like the least good enemy in the game. Out of all the enemies, the fact that you have to like... Do this stupid thing where you gotta wait for them to, to uninvisible... Then you shoot them once, then they move. Then you gotta uninvisible, then you shoot them once, and they move. Then you gotta do this, then you gotta dodge a thing. It's like just mind numbing. I don't know why they included this enemy. If this enemy was not in the game, it would be better. Than get get ratioed, idiot. That's what the youths are saying, right? One place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Space! <laughs> I 
I'm glad you're still posting that that plot. Like I didn't just watch the whole series like a few months ago. Great, that was great. Nice shot. God dang it, another one. How many in a row are we gonna have to deal with here? You spaghetti-haired idiot. It doesn't even look like hair. I'll kill you. Oh, you're a bitch. Why does it feel like they're taking one extra bullet? You're really bothering me, dude. Man, I wish Tim Curry wasn't dead. What, did Kim, Tim Curry died? Did I know this? I thought he was still alive. When did he die? That is sad. Tim Curry is a great actor. Chat confirmed. Someone who isn't eel. Someone I can believe. Eel fucks with me too much to believe a, a word he says. Dun 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 this hand of mine glows with an awesome power! He's still alive? Thank you, Bear. Thank you, Eel, fuck off. Why would why would you tell me Tim Curry's dead? Also, why is this door locked? Oh I gotta do the lights. Apparently. My wish was granted. I am a god. You're not a god. Oh, right! This is a puzzle. This is a puzzle. The light switches, like... I can't remember. What do they do? They turn on the colored lights? Oh, you just press both of them. He is disabled, though. Yes, I did hear about that. That I did hear about, and that's sad, too. He just wheelchair chair bound because he had a, mil a million strokes. That's really bad. Is that a Twin Peaks reference? Well, you know it. There are all Twin Peaks references here. So what the hell? What gives? Is this one not pressed? Yeah. That one wasn't pressed. There's three <sighs> of them. You gave me the noise like it was dumb. Wait a minute. Did I fuck this up? <sighs> what? What is what is what? Oh. The fuck? I had a million strokes this morning. I <laughs> You. In here with these GABA ghouls. Okay, that was a pretty good joke. A million strokes is a lot of strokes, though. That's kind of troubling. Like, maybe we ought to cool it for a minute here. Reduce that tolerance down a bit. This is my favorite part of the machine gun. It's just all of these boxes just immediately get obliterated. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, move it to the toolbox. Bro, I wish. Why? It seems like you'd have to be jerking off for hours. That seems kind of miserable. That's how you stop having skin? Exactly! That's exactly what would happen. Since they took my balls, I am far too sensitive. Is it, is it really that? Is that the time? Is it just because you didn't do it for a long time, or is it actually from, like, the surgery? Also, they just took one of your balls, right? Amazing. Yes. Wouldn't it be fucked up if you lied to me about that thing and it was a giant prank you were doing to me again? Wouldn't that be the most fucked up thing ever? Amazing. Your sentence said he had a million strokes, like he was doing it to himself. <laughs> 
That would be from the surgery, I think. I have, like, some form of nerve damage in that area. Yeah, I mean, that's pro that's possible. What the fuck? Resident Evil 4 items? Resident Evil 4 wishes. No, I'm just kidding. That's a good game, too. Yeah, it is weird when you see, like, a normal video game item in this game. Because you expect everything to be a turkey sandwich. When we see each other, I will show you my half-empty scrote. No, that's okay. That's not what I'm asking for. I mean, the strokes were brought on from insane amounts of coke he did. No, I think... No, Garlic's talking about eel. Eel made the joke of masturbation joke. Not, not Tim Curry and his cocaine strokes. Which, yeah, that, I mean, for sure, did not help. On the other hand, would we have, would we have, uh... Would we even have, like, the Pennywise performance from Tim Curry? If he wasn't on an insane amount of cocaine? Or even that one, the space communist dude from Red Alert. Like, we just, as featured on this channel that brought upon this conversation. If he wasn't on it in an inordinate amount of cocaine? Oh, you were talking about kid Tim Curry. Okay, never mind. And created his vinegar strokes. <laughs> Ew. That'd be a good name for, uh, like, the, the crustiest crust punk band, though. Tim Curry and the Vinegar Strokes. Ugh. Wouldn't have any performances from Tim Curry at all without the coke? You think so? Why, did he really need to pay those bills or something? And the medical bills? Oh, you don't need to show me that. Dude, I'm still paying off the ambulance I had, like, over a year ago. Tim Curry did coke? Of course the man did cocaine! I'm so ashamed. Bro, it was like the 70s and 80s. Amazing. Every single actor do working in that period. Period. Can we start doing the beginning of his career? Oh, that's not good. Did he do it throughout his whole career? I never missed the DVD Rocky Horror Show at the thrift store, but I talked to the dude who had it. Who grabbed it. Well, if you can go to his house and still watch it, then that's a win for everyone, really. So you don't want to... That's a, You need a friend over to watch that movie anyway. So it may have been... If you know the guy already, then it might be a win-win. Because then you get to watch it and you don't have to pay for it. For the most part, yeah. Really? That sucks. Yeah, cocaine's not a good drug to be doing habitually. And the problem is that it, you know, most people who do it want to do it habitually. <laughs> says you? Yes, says me. He's a complete stranger. I have a nice DVD collection. I want that shit. Oh, if it was a stranger, never mind. I thought you meant like you knew the guy, like, personally. That'd be okay. Then you just come over to his house whenever you want to watch it. Because Rocky Horror is a movie you want, you definitely want to watch with people. Watching Rocky Horror by yourself must be like some weird fetish thing. Oh, look who it is again. They sure do take over your life if you do enough of it. Yeah. Apparently a super rare DVD to own is Dogma, which is news to me. Really? The uh, Kevin Smith outfit? The Jay and Silent Bob? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. I'm always gonna fuck up these things on the Switch because I never know what buttons are what on the Switch. They can't re-release it because of that Harvey guy? Oh no! Harvey Weinstein invested in it? It's his picture- it's his, uh, studio? Harvey Birdman? No you wish. He has the rights personally? That's wild. Does he have, own the rights to everything or is it just because the studio is affiliated to it? That's crazy either way that it's like one guy fucks up, everyone's got to pay for it. He has rights still? Dude, it's so hard once people like- No, it's a different button! Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! I pressed Y that time! How do you even have an MP5? It's like the first gun you get that isn't the pistol. Where did you get it? 
they give it to you in the story. They give you the first one. This one you get from doing uh, the spirit map A from Keith. Yeah, get through those boxes, idiot. Yeah, once you do the spirit map A in the tunnel... Well, that's good. You see, he does have to break those boxes now. Okay, we gotta know all the buttons here. Come on, A! Don't make me do it again. I can't guarantee you it's gonna work. Oh, we're gonna have to fucking do it again. We're gonna have to do it different times. Why? God damn it! That's the Xbox Y! Fuck! Oh, it's so annoying. Just seems out of place, but even the game has overlays? Yeah, basically. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's a weird game. <laughs> it's a very weird game. This is so frustrating because I always forget which buttons are what. I need to like, I wonder if there's a way to like, rewire the switch controller so it's the xbox con buttons instead just like cross those wires a little bit a i can do a a i can do a one more time but please don't make it please don't make it anything please make it a again is what i'm asking yay i can do a i can do a all day no more. B? That's not A! I still did it. I think it's okay. That that better be it though. No moss. Gotta push the box for reasons. You can't just crawl around it. Okay, that's enough. Bro, where is he? Why do I still have to push? Just go around, you moron! Is he stuck in the wall or something? It doesn't look like he's going nowhere. Fine by me. Doesn't seem like he's stuck in the wall, doesn't it? Oh, he was just waiting for me to get here. That's funny. Hey, oh my god, don't do this to me. You can't, no more. You are not allowed to do any more of that. I will never remember the switch buttons. Oh god, it's all fire. This is the worst. What? How was that? Is it just because there's like fucking farts on the floor? Great. Chill out, bro. Oh god! How do I get around the fire? You can just shoot the mannequin. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. No, you are an Great. asshole. Yes. Yes. Nice shot. Holy guacamole. I want to get out of this flaming room so bad. Nope, fuck you. The second clue. The wooden ice pick. Someone got Trotsky'd out here. This is now it taught me to use ice picks. No siree. Dork, you loser. Alright, now we complete the profiling. So, someone walked in there, stepped on Thomas's badge. It may be Thomas in a dress. Because we know he's crowd stressing on. He's up hitting the streets again. Ice picked the deer and then went in a door. 
And then there was the bar. Some days I kind of miss right, right? Oh, <laughs> right nut. <laughs> huh? I mean, if you're gonna lose anything down there, a ball's pretty good candidate. Like, who the fuck misses balls, honestly? Like, for real. They're just balls. They look weird on everyone. No one has good looking balls. Another Largo med kit. So this is, I think, probably the first boss boss? Uh-oh. Oh, first we gotta do the raincoat killer thing again. Oh, he's still gonna do this thing. Shut up, you beautiful bald bastard. No, you shut up. I am constantly off balance now. <laughs> That's not true. We're back in the real world. Why is it so dark in here, man? What? Yeah, you gotta take the ice pick and stab the deer. Learn that from one bizarre setup. Whoever made this must be crazy. Yeah, I mean it's a good. Oh, he's leaning just a bit to the left. Everyone knows the balance, like piss, is stored in the balls. <laughs> oh yeah, this is... Hey, is Champ there? Yeah, I'm the Champ. What, what do you need? You can say, like, champ down on these nuts. Every time you say something, ask me a question, I think it's gonna be a, a D's just, a D's nuts joke. Zach. You love okay. that meme? What so meme? it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. The perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. First things first. We'd better let poor Nick go. Moron? Thomas, that is really bad makeup. The John Cena prank call. Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, that's a good one. If you're gonna, if you're gonna watch the prank call things, you, you, the John Cena one's a good one. That and the Balls of Steel Duke Nukem one. Classic. Classic boomer memes. Hey, can you stop singing and, like, wake me up and take me away from this kidnapper, please? The one that looks like Buffalo Bill, please? Yep. They're cer certainly doing the, the David Lynch bit here. Only it's a lot less good music. Still better than Crazy Clown Time, though. I don't know what you did to your makeup, dude. Yeah, if you were wondering, Garlock, if it was still a Twin Peaks reference. Yeah, it is. This isn't the Red Room. 
I will eat my can of beer. down. That one was actually a lot longer than the other ones. Mainly because I died like eight times. Because I still don't know what the buttons are on the switch. So touch too much blush on that guy. Yeah, right. That and the fact that he like ate motor oil. It was just like smudged all over his face for some reason. We don't need to watch what happened previously. I just, I was just living it. Oh, right, it's this bit. Cat Dad! fight. Episode Dad! four. Part Come four. on, boy, or it'll be too late. I'm coming as fast as my stupid little children feet can carry me. Hello? I remember this section now. It goes on for so much longer than you think it should. Come on. Not even anywhere to go. So, how was everyone's dinner? What'd you all eat tonight? Dad? Dad? I had some fucking Come Wendy's on, and I feel like I'm gonna... I'd late. like... It was spiked with something. that good old tree it's toppled over here and this tree growing out of a stump kind of wild a weird way to graft a tree onto a tree dad it's like not how that works dad come on boy or it'll be too late and if you're wondering if this is what's actually supposed to happen uh yeah this is actually how you're supposed to play this part that nine-year-old the drive-thru gave us drugged Wendy's. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Dad, you disappeared. What the fuck? Why are you disappearing me on me like that, man? Holy God, kid. Can you just hustle? Dad? Dad? You run like a 90-year-old man who's crapped boy, his pants. Or it'll be too late. What is this? Oh, it's a children's trading card. Ryan Xander Morgan. It's Papa Morgan. I can see the goal in my sights. Dad? Dad? Come on, boy. Or it'll be too late. I'm going on just a little bit too long. That's weird. Now, why do you want your girlfriend to be petting you as a kid in your dream? Are you okay? You don't have to be Sigmund Freud to figure out what's going on here. Also, why is Willie here? <laughs> Willie? Why are you in my dream? <laughs> what, what is going on here? Oh, 
Oh God. Hollis, what are you doing to my face? It's all the dead girls. You are waiting here for someone, aren't you? The person you are waiting for will be here soon. Okay. Let's, uh... You can see the seams on the skybox, which is hilarious. <laughs> what is going on? Well, that tree be bleeding. It is that time of the month for the tree. So is everything clear now? Everyone knows what's going on? Everyone's like really clear about what's happening? We come toward the climax. As the angel said, I was soon fated to meet him. What do you think of those dreams, Zach? So I do care for Emily. What about you? You got mommy issues. take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. Morgan, is this really the best time? If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? Now, how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. Although we have Willie to thank for finding this room, I suppose. He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. Sir, that's a dog. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with Diane. I want to help you guys out. Is there anything I can do? Kaysen, I appreciate the offer. But this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Oh, well, okay. George, look. These cigarettes, they're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. police brand cigarettes. Carol's been missing since the bar closed last night. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. Yeah, you don't have many characters left. What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily, let's focus on looking for York. I just hope there are more leads than a cigarette butt around here. Hey, Willie, of course. You can track his scent, can't you, boy? What do you think? Is that what we're doing here? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. I told you we don't need. This sounds good, Kason. We need all the help we can get. Come on, George. Let's let them help us. But they are civilians. Do you have a better plan? As we speak, York might be. <sighs> yeah, could be dead. You don't know any better. <laughs> All right, let's have them help. Thank you, George. But one thing, with York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise Aww. me you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. I think we're missing something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. It's a growing experience you, for boy. everyone. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. Deputy <laughs> Willie. Oh, he's a good dog.
He's a good boy. <laughs> oh, I forgot it's this part. Then? Okay, I'm counting on you, Willie. Oh, not counting what is on wrong me, with that though, dog's fur and tongue? This music, I remember this. This part also lasts for just a little too long. Look at me, I'm Emily Wyatt. I can look at things and follow dogs. I do have a gun. Nine millimeter share handgun sheriff custom. 19 bullets, 18 in the in the magazine and one in the chamber. More than enough to kill anything that moves. I don't know why the music's so funky. It's like following a dog to make sure your partner is not like being murdered by a, a crossdresser. Why isn't this music more in the game? Probably because they didn't know what to do with this music. It's weird that the second half of the game is like a bunch of other tracks that are not in the, the like other half of the game for any length of time. It's like they 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 wanted to, they repeat the same like five tracks in the first half of the game over and over and over again. And then they have all these weird one-off songs in the second half of the game. Here we are. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. He stayed with me all this time, through all the good and the bad. How long have you been together? Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I Bro, it's a dog. It can't be blown in like, like he was a, a de couple decades. Be. Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything I had to say. Kind of wholesome for... It's like he Despite the fact that we're trying to make sure make that York hasn't me. been murdered. He just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a... A weird aside, but it's kind of nice My worries touching. just faded away when he did that. Made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. Dogs are great that way. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive. They're fucking the dog. If man perishes no, don't face, leave Willie alone. Dogs, why they'll just carry no, not Willie. They see everything, you know. From their dog houses, they look out and they see what humans do. Kason. Oh look, Deputy Willie's calling for us. He's always like that. Let's get back to the chase. Back to the chase. All right, part two. What the fuck? Why does this guy look like the void? You must not have seen it when it's like, when it, whenever there's like zombies around, it's like, it goes like 10 times faster and it's like red and black. This something's not right with the climate in this town. I don't know what it is, but some ain't right. No man, no, 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 no. Meanwhile, what is this persona music? It is very persona, isn't it? What do you know about persona? I'm wearing a bandana. Thomas, you can see the cloth. I know fibers. that you're there. Your disposition is not of my concern. But you do need to stop this. Untie me. Let me go. Right now. And you and Carol should take off. Go as far away as you can. 
open a bar or a diner in a new town. With your cooking, I know you do well. Why, thank you, York. You're so kind. I'm like him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York. So you're gonna let me out, right? Love with someone, Thomas. A long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about die. Both pretty much at the same time. And since then, I've tried not to care about anyone so deeply. But recently, that way of thinking has changed. Emily, right? She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Because you're going to try and kill her. Considering the circumstances, whatever I say might not be important to you, but I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. Yeah, you're gonna be in trouble, boy. York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. Mm -hmm. Well, that was not really the most fruitful of conversations. Didn't really untie me or anything like that. Now back to the dog, the real gameplay. It is wild how breakneck of a pace this last like few chapters go. It goes by so fast. Shit just pops off. Now this is what I call gameplay. And look how well trained this dog is. He's like crossing at the crosswalk. Incredibly well trained dog. My dog used to be this well, well trained. Okay, well now he's jaywalking. I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. I am still a sheriff after all. Hello? Really? Oh, they wanted me to try and save. Thomas isn't in the police station, is he? That would be awkward, to say the least. What's wrong? Something's bothering you. Oh no, it's just... I promised to have tea with, with Paul. I just remember. What's that got to do with anything? Yep, you're right. This just isn't the time I know. But it's, well, she reminds me of my mother who passed away. Yo, are you away. banging Polly Listen, too? That's I've disgusting. I've been a salesman for a long, long time. I never had time to talk with my mother, you know. Sales, they were the thing for me. No matter what happened, this was more important. So even when she was sick, I put more energy into my work, which I regret now. And you know, when I heard she died, I was, I was on my way home, all happy. I closed a big deal in Jersey. Just when you want to give something back, you got no one to give it back to. Well, that, that's when I met her, Polly. I thought heaven had given me another chance. I really did. He's so I always stay Polly. in that that's hotel nasty. whenever I come up here. Oh, sure, the rooms are great, but, but in all honesty, I go there because I want to talk with Polly. Does Polly know all this? No, no way. I'd never say anything so embarrassing to her. She'd think I've got some crazy mother complex or something. Because you do have one. That is that is exactly what you described word for word. Who is that right. man on Let's the sheriff department? Deputy it's, like a, it's, it's like a gold miner. I'll make it up to Polly some other time, I guess. That's not a sheriff. That's like a, some guy. It's just some dude in a miner's hat. No man, no, 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 no. Zach, I'm hungry, but it, I can't. <laughs> 
can't do much about that at the moment. Thomas York, you got bigger things to worry cook. about. It's a shame to keep his cooking hidden out here in the countryside. Don't you think so, Zack? Uh. Which reminds me, there's another Wait, great uh. cook in town. To oh. fall in love with her would mean that I would need to love her cooking, too. <laughs> Why does God test us so, I wonder? That coffee she made. Man, did that pack a punch. I wish you could have tasted it, Zack. She a bad cook. Even in these dark times, for some reason, there's a, an amazing amount of levity. <laughs> Everyone's cracking jokes, not knowing whether York is going to live or die, including York. Now back to the gameplay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting really excited though because I think there's a boss fight coming up. And then it's I then it's my favorite my favorite part of the game. And it is oh my god, is it good? Oh, it's so good. I cannot wait. Is it happening in the trunk of this police car? It's him watching No More Heroes. A overworld it's gameplay. A hunch, it's very similar. I don't think Nick killed Diane. What do you mean? Me Was and it? Diane, we were, you know, there pretty close. There. I'm sure some people might have moral issues about it all, but I'd like to think that I knew her pretty well. Every time we, we finished talking, she'd bring up art. I'd make a face, you know, boring. And she'd always say, you're so different from Nick. He's so much more intelligent. Sounds like something to <laughs> say. Nick was one of the few. That's Peter Griffin. Case it does look like Peter Griffin. Diane also told That's me actually very funny. I've never made that connection. Emily, we gotta find a branch McGuffin. One would try to Remember kill that the time? Other. I just can't. But even the best of friends can end up Remember in the worst time fights. York got Still, the voices and footsteps I heard that night. Police officer? Was something that turned into like Mr. Plinkett really fast. Violent, more, more horrifying. Diane's hey, hey Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> of course, I couldn't make out what she was saying. You told your <laughs> Of course I did. What did he say? I know, that's fine. The the Family Guy memes are so much funnier than Family Guy. Hey, beer! And catch Diane's killer. Anyway, what were we talking about? Right. We're still trying to face it. Find your true. Those deep fried, those deep fried Family Guy memes of just the dude in the wheelchair saying, hey, beater. Very good. It gets me every time. I read it in his voice and everything. It's great. Imagine actually watching Family Guy. I'm like never big into that show. I even remember like when I was in like middle school and all my friends were watching it, I remember kind of being like, yeah, I mean, I think it's been done before. This is like, not that, not that funny. Exactly. That was the weird one. About Emily. Don't you feel almost- That may just be me though. Nostalgic looking I was never a big fan. I don't think I've ever felt that way looking at a woman before. No, I'm wrong. It's a long time ago now. I did watch a shit ton of Future on I watched so much Futurama during that, that, that era. That was kind of the last time I watched like an adult cartoon show. It wasn't like anime. Exciting though. I thought I heard my heart thump inside. You know, it's inappropriate during an investigation, right, Zach? Now back to the dog play. This is the last time, I think. Yeah, they stop 
This is like the definition of like padding though for gameplay. <laughs> they had all these like cutscenes made. They're like, how are we gonna put this in a? We're we gonna put this in a freaking game. It's like, oh, we'll just have him chase a dog for an hour. Futurama is one of my comfort shows. I play it when I sleep. Yeah, I can see that. Futurama is also one of those shows like you memorize the jokes so quickly too. But it's like if I went and like and tried to rewatch Futurama. I bet I wouldn't- I would get nothing out of it, because I, like, I watched those shows, like, so much I memorized all the jokes. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here! Come on, what? hurry! No, he's in front of me. Yeah, Kaysen, where are you fucking going? You're the one who's slowing down, it's not my fault. Move it, Buster. Should've wore different shoes for this one. And I was never really big into The Simpsons either. It was really just kind of Futurama. I watched South Park when I was like, when it was like, pretty popular. And then I remember that probably in like high school, I was like, yeah, these jokes are, are just- Are you close getting... to the Ingrams? No, Meh. I mean, well, I always say hi when I they see stop. them at their store. Don't you think they make a wonderful family? people who place Futurama to sleep? I guess so. Really? What was the study about? They do. <laughs> Indeed they do. The ideal family, I'd say. You know that I look after Isaac and Isaiah pretty often, right? They talk a lot when I take them out. Yesterday, Mama and Papa, <laughs> and this morning, Grandpa. Always about their family. Just listening to them makes me feel so happy. I don't have any brothers, you know. Maybe I'm a little jealous of those two. That's why when I come here, I always pay them a visit. Greenvale is really like a second Deadly home. Premonition. It's I a game tell. about family. Deputy Willie's calling again. Enough about me. Let's get going. Okay, but for real though. Okay, well, back to York. This is a flow of natural conversation. It makes it a more comforting um, makes it a more comforting show during sleep. For That's what the study said. Darkness. I see Emily's face. When I first met her on the bridge, she looked so... Because I've read that it's not good to watch anything while you're sleeping. Any clear, kind of light kind of fucks up your diet. Every cycle. word I say. Her blonde hair lit by the dawn. Heating steak in the diner. Giving directions in the car. Her, her face in the gallery. And that coffee she made. And... Look! Oh. She's a goddess in a tight dress. Goddess in a tight dress. Let's pray that she doesn't become a real goddess. All right, please, please be the last time. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, and now it's raining. So now someone's gonna die. Come on, Kason, I don't want you to fall behind again. I didn't think it was good, just that it was more comforting. Yeah, I can see that. Kaysen, you're the one who's not making it. Deputy Willie, he's over here. Come on, hurry. It's weird that Kaysen is what you have to actually follow. You don't follow Willie, you follow Kaysen. Yeah, gee, I wonder if it's the only building here that he's being... Uh, taken, tied up in. Willie, York is nearby? Good job, Willie. Can we stop running now, please? Okay, that has to be it, right? That big old red tree. Oh, 
We're in there. Good. Hey, so we took the long route here. You weren't playing with us, were you? George, we found out where York is. George? Black, black, black. George! Black, black, black. Jason, I'm going in alone. Hey, hey, you didn't forget what George said. No, I haven't. And that's why you get to stay out here and keep trying to contact him. I'm just going to check things out. I'll stay out of danger. Trust me. Okay, if you say so. I'll take care of this here. Finally. That's all I have to say is, finally. Hello? <gasps> Weird, so she can see the zombie world too. I don't think I don't think she's gonna stop. Okay, keep going. That's the, that's only the first one. That's the warning shot. <gasps> what the hell? Can you let me go? My guy, please. York, Emily is here. Time to say goodbye then. Thomas, let me tell you one more time. It's not too late. I can help you. Just untie me and let me go. If you don't, the situation will be irreversible, unfixable. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? Everyone, everything proceeds along a path Preordained by fate. I mean, that's just like your opinion, man. Goodbye, then. I wonder who'll be the next person to open this door. Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. Oh, Lord, that's not good. Zach, what was I supposed to say? All I can do now is wait. Yeah, basically. You're kind of in a bad situation. It's one of those situations where it's like so bad you just kind of have to hope you don't get in that situation. You could probably hopefully figure it out before it gets that bad. Perhaps would be my uh, professional opinion. Because once you get tied up to the chair, it becomes a whole lot harder to do anything. switch control you can do it plus b it's also some of it's my aiming i'm not like the fucking most amazing person aiming ever i am not good at console aiming anymore it's been a long time since halo 3 that was the last time i seriously did anything on a console joystick with aiming on a shooter you don't do that oh, don't need it We're like the clock tower. Mm. Ow, dick. You're an asshole. And I am gonna kill you. It sucks that Emily doesn't go, nice, nice, good job, nice, every time she hits something. That's what I'm really missing. Hey, do we have to have this many stairs? I'm feeling like, you know, a few sets probably is enough. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Ow, dink. <laughs> Got them all that time. Shazam.
First aid kit, medium. You can just stock up, it's an infinite supply of medium first aid kits. That's pretty cool. Well, hell yeah, we'll stock up on these bad boys. Stock up so many times. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna use one. Then, I'm just gonna pick up another one. <laughs> hey! We did it. And you know what? We could probably put some in our toolbox too, right? Yeah, just throw a few in there. We don't need to fill her up. But it'd be good to have. That's good enough. You already probably have like 20 in there. Boss, you fight with Emily. This actually looks pretty cool. This is a pretty well designed. Uh, you art sure style took here. your time. <laughs> Thomas, you've got nowhere to run now. Just surrender yourself. Emily, I've been waiting for you. Where's York? Is he okay? <laughs> He's quite the handsome one, isn't he? I liked him the moment I saw him. He likes someone else, of course. Who do you think that is? Hmm? I'm asking you if he is okay. Answer me. Oh, yes. He is handsome. But me and Carol, we love not him, but a different person. My lovely G. Cut the crap. Do you know what you're doing? Why, yes, I do. All too well. Far better than you do, I think. You know nothing about yourself, nor this town. Please, don't make me shoot you. <laughs> You're a silly, sad little woman. He's gonna take that, Emily? We're heading for devastation. All of us. And no one can stop it. <laughs> He's got shiny tears. Oh, Thomas, you're sick, but there's still time. We can get you help. I'll help you. You're too kind, Emily. As kind as a goddess. That's why he likes you. This town is soiled, and only you are shining in it. That's right, Thomas. Let's just leave here together. It was so much better back then. We had so much fun. Emily, that was before you came. <laughs> uh oh. I won't let you have him. <laughs> Dodge this! Ah! Take this! Take this! <laughs> this is a weird fight.
Oh god, I can't aim for shit. You won't have it your way. It's not Burger King, bitch. I'll turn you into hamburger meat. I'm gonna turn you into hamburger meat. God damn it, Thomas, stand still. Take this. Oh. Eat this. You better die, Emily. No, don't kill me. Looking pathetic, Ow. Emily. He pressed the wrong button. No. This is good. Don't do that. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, Jesus. That hurts. Yeah, I think we got him. That wasn't too bad. I got hit once. Don't make me shoot again. Surrender and turn yourself in. <laughs> Emily. Emily, I... <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's enough, Thomas. Just come over here. He's gonna turn you into hamburger meat. I can't believe. I can't believe I just... I hate you so much. Die, you skanky swine. <laughs> Willie. You skanky mutt. Get away. No. Not Willie. Get off. Take the shot, Emily. Oh, he's coming back down in a boomerang effect somehow. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Watch your step. Thomas! Okay, no. Oh, shit! Oh, that's so much worse than just falling to your death. Oh, man. His whole face got rearranged. That, that's absolutely a rip. That guy's not coming back in the oh. sequel. Is that Thomas hanging there? Oh, my God. He looks like a strung-up turkey. Forrest, why don't you get yourself a turkey sandwich and call it a day, huh? Was that, was that a gunshot? Yeah, it was a few gunshots, actually. I hope nothing terrible has happened. Something terrible definitely happened. I just witnessed it. Don't worry. Uh, hello? Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> what up, Willie? You gonna decide my fate? Hi, bud. <laughs> no, this isn't fair. Hey, I can't stick. <laughs> Are you here with your owner? I can't, I can't t get you off me. Oh, he's a good dog. He just wanted to get the band the, the bandana off. What a good dog.
Oh, a large first aid kit. Take that. Actually, we just used one the last time. I actually did need a new one. Yeah, we'll save here. Why not? Don't really want to do that fight again. And what is, like, my hunger and sleep levels at? Totally fine. I ended up eat or sleep in days for whatever reason. What up, y'all? It's Francis York Morgan on the mic. Hey! York! Are you okay? I'm fine. Got to spend some quality time with Zack. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? York, Thomas is dead. I shot him. He tried to kill me. Thomas, I suppose that this is the fate you talked about. But Emily, what about the murderer? I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. Thomas's actions may have surprised you. I understand that. But he ain't but our the job murderer. Is to catch the killer, isn't it? You didn't let the killer get away. York. Are you saying that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? What? That makes no sense. Emily, are you out of your mind? Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. But he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also doesn't have the reverse peace symbol on his back. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? I need you to be strong, Emily. What's that noise? If Thomas it's coming is not the, the game. killer, then there is only one other possibility. Oh, it's not. Come from my apartment. Number one with free access to the department files. And doesn't have an alibi. At Someone's the time like of vacuuming at 9:30 p.m. What an asshole. G himself. George? George is the killer? And since when did you start thinking this? What a revelation. Sure to start with, but you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar. That was when I became 100% positive. But George didn't have the tattoo on his back. Oh, right. He doesn't have a tattoo on his back. But there is a pattern there. Oh, what do you the mean? scars. Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey, you two. Could you explain this so I can understand what's going on? Emily, come in. Emily here. I've rescued Agent York from the clock tower. Thomas is dead. I was forced to shoot him. I see. Huh. You two are both all right? Uh, York is a little weak, but we're heading back to the department now. Okay, I'll do the same. Killer Magoo. But a lot of those gears stopped turning. Emily, George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yes. Then what we are about to do is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? York, I'm Deputy Sheriff. This might be a small town, but I take pride in that. It's my duty to make sure that we catch all the bad guys in Greenville. Even if it means facing an end that I would never have hoped for. Okay, then let's get moving. This case is going to end at the Sheriff's Department. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Something's definitely going there. down at the sheriff's Will, department. Come on, let's go with it. Chickening out now would be like leaving after eating the appetizers. 
No, oh, shut up. You Peter Griffin motherfucker. And then the dog hissed at him, apparently. $20,000 I have. Certainly, it's certainly heating up. We'll say that. It's the end of the game is good. It's really good. My, my favorite mission's got to be coming up here soon. Emily, I'm going in from the front. You secure the back. Okay. What should I do? Kason, stay at the entrance. No, Kason, don't go cut away. me out now. If this was a movie, I'd be some minor nameless character. And I thought I was the cheerful sidekick that helped solve the case. Yeah, but, you know, we're going in with guns blazing into a sheriff's department. So, you know, that's like most people would just rather not be shot in general. Oh, I've got this whole mission here. Yep, they're here again. And I'm blue again for some reason. Why that big line in the middle? What's that? There's that big old line in the middle of the screen, bro. And, and the film's black. What's going on here? Would have been nice had Emily come in with me. Zack, I thought we might get a warm welcoming. Time to never finish that cigarette again. Can I carry any more items? First aid kit small. Oh. From Emily, probably, yeah. So 422, the throne of abyss. These are all walled off. That is also walled off. Not a soul in sight, though I doubt if it would have a soul to speak of. Talk about George? I mean, he's crazy and he's a serial killer, but... I don't mean that... I don't know if that means you don't have a soul. Probably just fucked. A fucked soul. Bye. They went in here and try and murder me. Oh, fuck yeah. Some of them quackers. Is it infinite quackers? No, it was just one one-time quacker. Okay, that's interesting. Definitely save. Because, spoilers, there is another boss cutting coming up. Then another boss coming up. <laughs> and then another boss coming up. It's an interesting key. A little skull with gun f gun eyeballs. That's kind of cool. I approve of that. No, we don't need a profile. Come on. It's fine. We ain't even got all our clues yet. Who said deep back? We went beep, beep. Was it you, officer? I shot great bullseye. Or was it you? I shot amazing. Anton Nots, what's up, man? We were all we were the raincoat killers all along. We sure were. 
Thanks for stopping by, man. How was your disaster report for stream? How did it end? It's a cool looking game. Are you in the post game of that game already? Oh shit, there's a lot of dudes here. Yes, yes, nice shot. Amazing, amazing, bullseye. Hey, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Great. Amazing. Run, run, run. Oh, I knew you were behind me, asshole. Great, yes. You in a fist fight? And yeah, that was the epilogue they released out in Japan after release. Oh, that's cool. Yes, bullseye. That's cool. They got a bunch of support. Was that like a big old DLC or something? Nice shot. Yes. Key for cell number three. It's a good thing I killed that guy, because otherwise I wouldn't get that key. I guess. Oh yeah, we gotta release Nick. Holy shit! I forgot he's still in here. Yes. Great. Yes. So I have cell number one. Do you have the other key, sir? Yes. Those three hours still felt like empty story-wise, I thought. Who knows? Huh. Yeah, that's kind of a hard one. It's like, on one hand, you're, you're happy that they added more shit to it because it just makes it more valuable. You know? It's like, you know, more stuff to do. But if it's not good, it's like, meh. Maybe it was best if they just crammed that into Disaster Report 5 instead. It's literally these choices are for window dressing more than anything. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Oh, I don't have the key to this one. Do I have the key to this one? Maybe the key to that one's in this one. Especially if it's story being expanded upon. Yeah, it seems kind of... Great. Well, was it DLC or was it like just an ad, like a free ad edition. It did hint to everyone about Disaster Port 5 within the game. That's kind of cool. Well, I think that game's pretty popular, maybe not here, but in Japan. I think that series is fairly popular, right? So, maybes? With hope? Amazing. Nice shot. Okay, so that's how that guy... You can't actually kill those things. But here's the problem, is this is all walled off. So, what did I miss? Isn't there, there's not like a lock on any of these doors or anything? Like, you can't like, shoot this, right? Yeah, I think I miss I missed a key somewhere. Was free for us? I don't know about Japan. Uh, it's hard to be too mad about it. Oh, there are all these rooms I didn't try anymore. Amazing. Great. It was def let's try to tie everything in a neat bow. But it did end with a 1v1 fight game. That's kind of fun. Like the end of like Metal Gear Solid 4. Just like slugging it out on top of some ship or whatever. Oh shit. You're the asshole waiting in the thing. Nice shot. Great. Nice shot. Nice shot. Great. Basically. <laughs> that's excellent. Hey, there's a key. I think that's the key we need, but it might that one might have the key we need in that cell. With hope. What are you doing? What the hell are you nice shot. doing? Great. Bullseye. No items? Sorry you don't want to die. I didn't want to shoot you either. 
you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Bullseye. Nice shot. Bullseye. There you go. You gotta do that, that pre-shoot. The storage room's open. What kind of storage room? Oh no, it's all raincoats. They're all the raincoat killers. Bullseye. Good game with heart. Death had its faults, fair share of criticism. Yeah, I don't know if I'd get the the switch port. I know it has a, there's a PC port. Way too obvious. Don't worry, Sir Culprit will find you soon enough. Nice shot. Is that frame rate great. roof? I'm sad I didn't get to watch more of it, actually. Because for whatever reason, Twitch now is just not telling me when anyone I care about is going live. Or anyone, for that matter. Just will not tell me anything that's happening. There's nothing in here. Is that right? It does look like that's right. Oh, but the locker room's open. What's this? Oh, gotta pick up the pickles. Deadly premonition is a PC port, but we know how that goes. Yeah, the game I, I thumbs downed on, on Steam and GOG. Amazing. Amazing. The Deadly Premonition negative review I wrote is actually one of my most popular reviews I made on Steam. I'm pretty sure at least. Amazing. And I do love Deadly Premonition, but man, PC port is not where it's at. All anyone needs to know is it's probably high, the high streaming Persona 5 all day. <laughs> I know that I, the new one's coming out soon. Looks cool. I was watching your VOD for The Way of the Thief today. That game looks dope. I might pick that game up on Switch. Quote unquote new one. Oh, what? They're all new to me. I don't know anything about the series. They all new to me. So I did get number two. I also got six. Which one's six? Are you six? Yes. Unless I already came in here. I think I did, actually. This one, for some reason, doesn't have a label. You can't be six, can you? Are you six? fuck ever it doesn't matter well you're six what what does that make sense was shocked when i saw p5 came out years ago six years really it came out six years ago that's crazy i mean time goes by so fast for me now that i'm like an adult and now i'm like yeah i'm doing the meme thing adults always say how fast time goes by but like seriously, we're I was watching a Warhammer channel and someone was like, yeah, this is an old model. It came all the way back out back in like 2006. I'm like, that wasn't that long ago. What? I still don't have it? Like 2006, that wasn't so long ago. And then uh, I thought about it. I was like, yeah, well, that was when I was 16. And it was like, oh, well, that's not that long ago, right? Because I'm only and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm 30 fucking two. <laughs> That's a, it's a really long time ago. It's like half my oh, life ago. Nice shot. I was like, Jesus. I'm gonna die soon. Every day we're one step closer to the grave, man. Every playthrough I find that door back there, it's not really well hidden at all. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I have never seen that in my life. I have never seen that animation. I'm gonna pretend I don't have a birthday. That is so good. He just runs straight into the door. <laughs> What is going on? I can't even... Are the color walls different? There must be something. What?
Birthdays are a social construct anyway? I mean, true. Isn't this a door? Oh, the wall is different? Huh? I'm confused. Is something not working right? I thought you had to push this thing aside. What is going on? What does the map say about that? The map says I should be able to go through that. Uh-oh. Let's uh, go to the title screen. Was she supposed to go through the door, like the bed, like it was a secret? Like the bed, I, I thought the bed was supposed to be in front of the door, then you move the bed, you find the door. Oh, I was letting go too early. I'm an idiot. Weird considering it's just like a fairly normal door. Hey, thanks for contributing all your points to the 10 free gift subs challenge. Getting close to that. Whoops. Was I not supposed to get that agent on her? Because I got it. No regrets. Yeah, I'm pretty cool with never having a birthday again. I also forget how old I am because I got the last two years in COVID, I keep thinking I'm like 30 and it's like, no, wait, I'm 32. And people look at me like, how do you not know how old you are? And I'm like, well, I didn't have birthdays for two. Oh, shit. I didn't have birthdays, man. I don't know what things are. Amazing. No, no, shoot. Ow. My face. Great. Great. Oh, don't shoot! Great. Bullseye. Don't shoot! Yes. Amazing. Oh, that carols the earrings. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Almost time for Halloween. Also, I know how to be Howie. Don't come to my house. They can be Dracula. I'll suck your dick and blood. I'll suck your blood. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> what are you gonna be for Halloween? Denji from Chainsaw Man. I haven't seen Chainsaw Man yet. Is it good? I've heard a lot of people talking about it, but I have not heard what they're saying about it, whether it's good or bad. So that motherfucker showed up. Hey, dog! He dragged uh -oh, Carol, probably. I really enjoy the manga. So that's the first arc is great. I thought. Have you seen the anime? Oh, she got cut up. Nope. Okay. I thought about turning on a few times. She's a goddess of the forest now. We were too late. Oh, why is her hair falling out? Carol! I encourage it. Denji is a lovable dirtbag. That's cool. I'll check it out. I think I'm going to go as Colin Robinson from What We Do in the Shadows, the energy vampire, because that is basically me. And he's already bald, so when you're bald, if you pick a bald person, your work is basically done for you. 
I could also be like Uncle Fester. That might be a good one too. But I'd never be able to do it as good as like Ethan did. That one time. That, that was too good. I'm like not fat enough to be Uncle Fester. Or I could be like One Punch Man. That would be a good one. But that's that's a big costume. That would take take a lot of time for me to actually like, do it. Thomas. Thomas. He's dead. I I shot him. I I had to. She's gonna freak out when she finds out. We were George Loves. Substitutes? What? Carol? Carol? Oh no, she's eating those red se seeds. Not those sunflower seeds, she's gonna choke on it. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big splatter. Kason. Oh no, she be tripping. Those Kason, seeds quick. straight bussin'. No cap on a stack. I'm trying to be relatable to the youths. <laughs> now that I'm 32. Shit's fire, bro. Have you ever been walking down the street with your best bro? You think George is gay in this? You accidentally touch hands? You think to yourself, <laughs> that was weird, but not gay. Rush to the hospital. You she are. needs a full stomach and liver cleansing. You are gay. You're it's you true. To come too. She needs... No, I have to take care of something here. But I can't take her alone. Please, Kason. Uh, okay, okay, I'll do it. Fast. But if something happens, don't blame me, okay? Just go! I don't think George is gay. I think George is just like power sexual. I think he just is wants to bone everything for power. Been emotional in a long, long time. Can you tell Zach? But this whole thing is he's doing this all for the power. What a twist. Why we just left that body there, I don't know. The power is gay. <laughs> right over the picture of George. You, you are. You are gay. God, I don't have that assault rifle. I wish I had that. I don't know if I've ever got the assault rifle, actually. I guess I did all the side quests at one point, so I must have got it. I don't remember. Power is gay. Power is mostly... Power is such a 5'11 thing to do. That's my new thing, is just trashing on people. I've realized that... Imagine using other guns, right? Exactly. I think most of the world's ills are caused by people who are 5'11 or under. I'm sorry if you're 5'11 or under, not Don Knotts. Have you noticed that, like, everyone who starts a cult... Absolutely 5'11 or under. Like, no one six feet or over starts a cult ever. I dare you to find one. You can't. It doesn't exist. It's like a very 5'11 thing. <laughs> just saying. It's my new theory. It just is my new theory. Why can look? Why, why can I look? Oh god, my thing got all fucked up. It is my new theory. I mean, I guess I'll go in here. Is this like, that's where he wanted me to be? And stuff? Hmm? Are we back? But, wait. This is progression, right? Neo burritos into eugenics. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No, don't don't say that. I'm just saying it's 
All of it's caused by 5'11 people. I'm thinking of asking Emily out for dinner once this is all over. Oh yeah, this is progression. Nothing too fancy. Name? Find one cult realize. started by someone who is over 5'11. You know Nick's diner. Might Name be one. A good idea. You can't find it. I think I owe him a nice big tip too. Why is that, bro? Why is it? Prove me wrong, dude. I dare you. Even my girlfriend was like, no, that's not true. And she's like, wasn't Char Charles Manson like really, really, like really tall? Like, wasn't he like 5'5 five, five or something? Like 6'5 or something like that? And we looked it up. No, he was like 5'10. He was even shorter than 5'11. Look it up, man. You'll see, you'll see I'm right. 5'11 people do crazy stuff, dude. I'm a heightist. That one I'll wear on my shoulder. I'll, I'll wear on my chest, rather. Well, that is a badge. Great. That's nice for shot. sure true, though. 5'11 people do fucking crazy stuff. I think it's specifically 5'11. I think 5'11 is like... Like, peak uh, sociopath height. Personally. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Sorry to all the 5'11 people here. How tall is Genghis Khan? I don't... I don't know... I don't know if they even had heights, if they even like measured them off often. That might have been the time where there were people who were like eight stone big, you know what I mean? Like I don't know if they had heights good. Amazing. You're as Amazing. tall as like yes. my horse. How tall was the gym? Yes. Oh, he was about yes. as tall as the this pole here. Check made atheists. I'm just saying. A lot of, lot of bad people were 5'11", okay? That's all I'm saying. John of God was taller than 5'11"? Who's John of God? Not the burrito and the coke. No, you didn't. I'm not doing coke. You're just making 5'11 accusations at me now. Brazilian faith healer cult leader. Well, maybe he wasn't as bad as people thought because he was taller. <laughs> I mean, faith healer, that's not that bad, is it? Like, it was a cult, though? Like, a, like people died and shit? Or, like, got abused? Hulk Hogan said racist things and got a website shut down? I think it counts. Uh, look, this isn't racist though. That's no good. You can't be racist. But five eleven people. That's that's a different story, man. I'm just saying. This is what? George's desk or Emily's desk? He's in prison for sixty three years for molesting a dick ton of people. Okay, that's not good. All right, well, there's exceptions, I guess, to this rule. The theory is still being ironed out, okay? He's, he's, he's... The theory's in, the theory's still being worked out. There's still kinks. But... 5'11 people. Do be doing a lot of things. Weird shit. Just weird shit, man. How tall was he, out of curiosity? You know, I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up, John of God. Let's see how tall John of God was. Let's go Wikipedia. With God. What is 1945? No one knows how tall this guy was. No, fuck you. No, my theory's still true. My theory's still true. Wait, is there a different John of God? You're saying he's in prison now. Is this a different John of God? Oh no, this guy, a convicted sex offender. Yeah, this guy. Medium and psychic surgeon, oof. That's a pretty 5'11 thing to say. I don't know if I believe this is, this guy is over six, is six feet or over. It doesn't have his height. I'm gonna look how, how tall he is. Okay, Google. How tall is this man? I don't even want to pronounce his name. No one knows how tall he is. 
Hey, nobody, nobody has the stats. No, dude. Let's see, age, height, weight, dress, shoe size. Yeah, dude, no one knows how tall he is. He's 5'11", I'm telling you. Marshall Applewhite? You're just reaching, man. I can't even trust you. I can't even trust you now. Marshall Applewhite. I'll look this up. This is important stuff. Marshall Applewhite. Damn, suicide by suffocation. Youch. That's not how I'd like to go. Famous biography. Okay. I... Not available. Not available. Again, 5'11". 5'11", prove me wrong. Six foot even? Fucking fa check your facts, dude. Check your facts. That's fake news. Height unknown. I bet you he was 5'11". See? You can't trust the, the fake, the fake freaking media eel <laughs> is trying to pretend like people over 5'11 can do bad things. And that's just not true. It's just not true. Every bad thing in the world is caused by people who are 5'11 or over shorter. <laughs> Specifically men. If it's women, it's okay. But men who are 5'11, that's, that's the problem. That's the real problem. <laughs> Men who are 5'11 st start cults, okay? So I want you to come at me with some facts. I want you to look up some actual serial killers and shit who are like six foot tall. Yes, those are, yes. So you don't knock the theory before you've tested it out, man. It turns out. I might be onto something, man. Those 5-11ers, man, they'll, they'll do it. Every time they'll do it. See us six feet tall people, right? We'll play like Deadly Premonition to get like let off some steam, like stream yes. for buds. Yes. But if I was 5-11, I could be out there like killing people. Think about it, okay? Huh? Just consider it. <sighs> L. Ron Hubbard was six feet. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check it out. One second, George. We got we got business here. Suck my singular ball. But did L. Ron Hubbard did he start the cult himself or did they start the cult after he died? L. Ron Hubbard was six feet even. Well, it was 183 centimeters. Now, is there like a is that a rounding up scenario? Is he like 511.9? How tall is that? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I want to take check this out. 183 centimeters. We're gonna we're, we're gonna convert 183 centimeters to feet. Oh, it's actually, it's six feet and some, it's some change, actually. He started it? Shit, L. Ron Hubbard is the exception. But he's barely six feet. He's six and like, point, six point zero zero three. It's like, did he maybe like, stretch, he just like straightened his back really, like he like wore shoes, like taller shoes that day? He could have. He could have. That would have been a very 5'11 thing to do. 
to wear shoes to make you six feet tall. He might do, he might have done that, man. Think about it. How easy would it have been to lie back in fucking nineteen zero nothing? Anyone who was five eleven could just say they were six feet tall. There'd be no repercussions. Great, it's amazing. Yes. I'm trying to stump someone who listens to cult shit for fun. Hey, listen, Bear couldn't think of one. I asked Bear, and she like everyone she threw at me, absolutely five eleven or five ten. Yes, bullseye. This all started because of the Nexium cult. We watched that documentary on Nexium, and I was like, that is such a five eleven thing to do. Is that you can't get girls, so you just like start a cult instead. So you can have sex with girls. Like, that is so 511. Those bears isn't helping me fucking train her. What? Ah! Oh, I gotta get close to him. I forgot. Bear is asleep right now. She's got work in the morning. So we managed to hunt him down. Now just think about going ahead. Now it can't hit me. You know I could see you joining Nexium, Nito. Why would I join Nexium? Nexium's like a business cult. I fucking hate business, dude. Why would I ever join Nexium? Nexium's the shittiest cult. I'm not even spelling it right. You have to spell like a complete fucking asshole. N X I U M, all caps. Which is part of the problem. You think I would start join a cult that can't spell? Are you out of your mind? I would lose my shit every day. Every day, I'd be like, "Why are we spelling like idiots?" You, like, come on, dude. You know I couldn't do that. I could never join a cult spelled like that. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Nitin Dixie and Nito today. We're branding ourselves on stream. I would ne Branding yourselves is not even that cool. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at all. It's the lame, lamest cult ever, dude. Cool cat cult. <gasps> That's a, such a lame cult. I'd way, I'd way rather like shut, like, like, like put my lot in with like Jim Jones or something. Like, no, you know, not a good man at all. You know, all those people did die, but you know that was a cult. That was abs. No one's saying that wasn't a cult. You know what I mean? Definitive answers. He was a man of principles. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. Nexium is like, no, it's just corporate busy, like, stupid bullshit, man. It sounds stupid, and you listen to them talk, like, that whole thing was terrible. To be honest, see, I see Nito going full latter, Church of Latter-day Saints. FL, what's FLDS? I know a latter, Church of Latter-day Saints. God damn it, is that gonna be a rumor they're gonna have the fucking crawlers on the roof again? I gotta fight the crawlers on the roof again. Fuck. Fundamentalist? I'm gonna go fundamentalist. Latter day Saints. Oh, I got uh, Emily's gun. Okay, come out. I know you're gonna come out and you're gonna make me shoot the things. The stupid bad guys. Hey, y'all need to hear with my co-op partner, Jesus. They married eight-year-olds? That's no good. You can't do that. Who would even want to marry an eight-year-old? What is wrong with people? That's one of those, it's like, why? Why would you even want that? Fucking weirder, weirdos, man. People are just fucking crazy, is the bottom line. 
Hey, shut up. Hey, shut up. We gotta dodge. Then jump on the wall. Then do this. Then we go up here. We gotta do that. Are you serious? You're still alive? Why are you taking an extra bullet all of a sudden? Why is the music so deafening right now? Stop it. Thank you. Oh my god, are you serious? Idiots need to get out of here. I'm trying to beat the game tonight. Which is looking less and less like it's gonna happen. Which is okay. We can just do this tomorrow too. It's not like we have like a super busy stream schedule. Because we do have, you can now purchase with your channel points a game of your choosing or uh, a random game I haven't played yet to add to the queue of games to be streamed. Great, amazing, great. So, how's that for, you know, viewer rewards for tuning in? So, you can choose your game or a different game. And I've lowered the points cost because right now the list is only one game long. Stubbs the Zombie. Hey, all you cool cats, kittens, my Nixium Nido. These are my co op partners, my sister wives, and Jesus. It doesn't sound cool at all. That sounds like it sucks. That's the worst stream ever. I don't want to do that. Who wants to do that? It's not even really sister wives, because it's it's mostly just, you know, you have to share it with uh, Keith Raniere. All of your wives get to have sex with Keith Raniere. Oh, thank you God. You only get to have sex with, you know, your wife, but Keith Raniere gets to have sex with your wife and everyone else. Oh, great, great, yes. Which is the cult part. The guy who said he was like a math genius and dropped out of like technical college after one semester in math. Yeah, he's so, so good at math, he couldn't pass a single course. And he's calling himself a math genius. Excellent. That's, that is, that was when I patented the, the 511 theory of everything. That was such a 511 move to me, I had to invent a new, I had to invent a new, uh, a new way to look at this, this problem. Bring it up with a Blair, maybe she wants sister wives? Again, that's not how that worked in Nexium. They didn't have sister wives. They just, you know, everyone had to give their wives the key through Neri. She's into cults, she may be down. She's more into start- she'd be more into starting a cult. Less into, like, joining one for no reason. Like, quite a lot. I feel like I've been in this room before. Well, shit, look at all that Asian honor. To say, I hear someone. Well, let's just ignore him. No, we're past Nixie and we're going full FLDS. I don't want to be a fundamentalist Latter day Saint. I don't even want to be a regular Latter day Saint. This is like it just doesn't seem very cool. Again, there are way cooler cults you can get into. I was gonna join a cult, I joined one of the crazy like suicide ones or something. Trying to summon Cthulhu, those are the sick cults, man. Why join a cult for Jesus? You could just join a regular church. You get all the benefits and none of the cons. Why would you want to join a cult for Jesus? Makes no sense, man. You're not even thinking straight. Oh, we're gonna play this game again. Okay, well, we already dodged it, so we're good. This is part's easy, aside from the frame rate. I think I can actually walk into it while it's flying, and it won't hurt, hurt me at all. get you. 
I've joined Heaven Gate after the comet? What? You mean like, what, like, you like them on Facebook or something? Are they still around? Aren't they? Actually, they are still around, aren't they? I feel like that's kind of lame, though. I feel like that's like, you know, still being there after the party's like, peaked. Like, everyone else is going home and you're like, woo, yes, let's go! Yes, yes, Freebird! Everyone's like, no, dude, it's over. Yes, yes, yes. That shot's amazing. Obviously, it's best to own a cult. Great. You gotta great. start your own cult, really. You gotta get grassroots organization with your cult. The one cool yes. thing that Nexium did is they tricked all these rich, affluent people into giving up all of their millions and millions of dollars, like the freaking Seagram's family, which I always find hilarious. It's like the fire festival, but, in, you know, in cults instead. It's like the religious fear of the fire festival, which is very funny to me. That was bagel sandwich? Dude, did you put that on fucking raisin bagels? Are you a monster, Emily? I think someone still maintains the website. Yeah, I think I've heard that somewhere before, too. I am all about duping rich people into giving away all of their money for some dumb reason. That, to me, is just... I mean, words can't describe how happy that makes me. Like, the fire Festival thing? God, that was funny. Boy, howdy, that makes me... That brings a smile to my face every day. <laughs> We go to Acapulco for my birthday this year? No, I don't really want to be like captured by the cartels is the thing. We go somewhere like more stable? Actually. Hmm? What are you gonna actually me about? Dinots. Knowing that I will fact check you, and if you tell me someone is six feet tall when they're five eleven, I will find out. I will find out. Who's, who's shooting? Hey, cut that out. Bullseye. Don't do that. Shot. Great. Bullseye. Great. Oh, he's pre-aiming. Bullseye. Bullseye. Don't get that guy. He's going to shoot first. The tickets were cheap. Dirt cheap for three days on a private, all-expensive-paid island. But it was supposed to be, like, for the rich elite, though, wasn't it? Wasn't that how they build it? Great. Ah! Because if you look at the fire Festival thing... Too cheap to make money. That's okay. I mean, you could. I mean, as long as you trick, as long as you didn't like trick like poor people into spending their whole like life savings on like I don't know yes, yes, yes. tickets Great. to see I don't know Jay Z backstage or something. Great, nice shot, nice shot. As long as the the, the target audience was still rich people, I'm a okay with this. It was a lot of college age people, yes, which was that's fine, that's fine as long as they're. Wealthy college age people, then uh, that's okay. I'm still fine with all of this. It's basically, it's an organic way to let the markets uh, redistribute the wealth. Because if you're so stupid that you would do this, you know, then the money's no longer yours. <sighs> All that money just go poof. Oh no, it's this guy! But I dodged out of the way. And then you're gonna Dikembe Mutombo me again. No, no, no. Yeah, I thought we were gonna be able to finish this tonight, but I don't know if we will. There's a lot more of these uh, other world segments that are much longer than I remember. Uh, 
Oh. Huh. That's a big, uh, big hallway. A quite a big, ominous hallway. No one in it. Hmm. Interesting. Still don't have this gun. I never got this gun. I think I definitely missed it. We're getting chocolate, which is the good news. Can't be messing up too bad. I'm getting all this good chocolate. up your inventory. Maybe I'll shovel it out. Huh. <laughs> shovel this stuff in the trash. Why is this room gotta be so big? I'm gonna give you a boss fountain. That's cool. I mean, I appreciate it, but like, can you like put the stuff closer together for me, bud? I'd really appreciate it. So I say that's an ice axe. It looks like an art, like almost like an RPG or something. But I was looking at backwards. It was like fifteen hundred bucks for a weekend there, drinks and food included. Yeah, that's way too cheap to make money off of. But then again, you know, ask me how many people I know who can take a weekend off. And, and like, there's 12k VIP places. Absolutely, that's what I'm talking about. Those people, absolutely fine with them losing all their money. That's okay. They'll bounce back. They don't need it. 1k, 1.5k for a weekend is probably not even. Is, I mean, it's it's actually kind of a lot. That's a lot more than I spend to, to travel halfway across the country. And I do, and I make like pretty decent money when I'm working. Um, so I don't know, I, uh, to drop 1500 on, on a weekend trip, you gotta be in, you gotta be fairly well off, I feel like. That's more than most, I think, than most people our age can afford. And the 12k VIP places, absolutely, those people, uh, if they got, if they never saw their money again, sorry, don't care. <laughs> don't care. I say if you save a little bit. Yeah, if you saved, you probably... I mean, I could if I saved. Um, but, like, at the same time, would I ever? If I could spend that money on literally anything else? Yeah, probably. I don't think... The thing is, I don't think anyone heard of a... Anyone who's never heard of Fire Festival, because it was the first year ever. So it has no fanfare involved. <laughs> Agent Francis Dork Morgan. If they're just willing to throw that like huh? 1.5k yeah, on a weekend for an unknown concert you country folk mm, shy. in the Bahamas, you gotta get there somehow, right? So you gotta play pay for pay, plane fare too. It was Blink-182? Yeah, but it was the whole festival. I don't know, man. I don't think you're. I don't think you're onto it. I don't think this. Is, I don't think we're gonna see eye to eye on this one. I think Fire Festival is still hilarious. Because you got to fly to Florida. Like that expense wasn't paid. Deserve to be called a treasure. So you probably got to take Friday off. Who can take just any Friday off? Ordinary man, you never appreciate their true value. But you'll agree with my selection on the second treasure, anyway. I don't disagree with treasure number two. Emily sparkles like a precious gem. <laughs> Stop talking about your this girlfriend. This town changed since she came here. The goddess from the city gave us the fruit of knowledge. Say party, drink, sleep, listen to music, not worry. I'm for it. Sin. 
That's true. That's the bottom line. When I first saw her, Think about how many, like, Crust Punk shows $1,500 would get you. You could go to $5 entry shows for the rest of your life. Two drink minimum shows for the rest of your life. And you are a fool, even now. Shut it, York! You're the fool here. George's transformation is wild. I like how he's a black metal singer. Diane and Basically a free pass. They all died right in front of you. Like house shows? Yeah, basically. You couldn't save even one of them. Not even one. You're the worthless fool here. And that's what proves it. But me, unlike you, I am strong. I have power. My mother taught me. The strong, who can overpower others. I like how his teeth turned to fangs. And, right. and his hair got styled like this. It used to be like, in the cutscenes, the killer has like, long hair power. like that. Like, Thomas's wig. The heel pierced my cheek. Learned to respect her. Since then, I obtained power of my own. And found my own disciples. I became divine. Is that goddess of faith and grab her with my hands i want emily in her stiletto heels you're out of your mind he's got a he's got a femdom heel king absolutely that's mommy issues you don't need to be sigmund freud to figure that one out York, have you ever shot Deer hunting is great. They can be erotic creatures. And he's a furry. Black eyes, firm hips, slender legs. Hunting is a sign of power, especially in deer hunting. Did you know, York? From time to time, there's a family of deer that comes down to the graveyard. I shot them full of bullets. They still remain standing. First, I thought they were zombies, but when I snuck up on Kids say cuck? Cut its stomach out. I found the truth. Really? I didn't get a notification that it blocked it. The red seeds. Those seeds made those deer invincible. George, no Olympics for you. You'll fail the doping test. You'd be good food for wild animals, though. York. I have these seeds because... Did I maybe block that word on accident? To me. My divinity. But that's my game theory. <laughs> Is it he's a cuck? No, he's definitely daddy dom. But he's but female dom. That's the weird part. George, you're just a conundrum. I don't understand you. Oh no, the stiletto scar. It was Mrs. Stiletto Heel. The whole time. To his mom? It's like Seamus. This is the mark my mother gave me. Oh god, my ear the power. The red tree. The red tree? You've got that all wrong, George. That's the mark of child abuse. Roasted. Takes a drag from the blunt. <laughs> Flicks the cigarette in your face, refuses to explain. That's not Pucks away. Kills death gave me eternal strength. It's surging through my body. I can no longer be killed. We can test that theory. Aren't you honored? You'll be the first to congratulate me for my new powers. Yeah, we'll see about that one. Shameless. Get your balls out of my face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what, do we shoot at him or...? No, not really. I forgot what we do here. Oh, you do this. 
Whoa. What? Uh oh. It'd be better to switch to... Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm standing here. This. Oh, shit. Idiot. Don't just stand there. Shit. Oh, God. Don't do that. Boy, this did so much damage. Yeah, see, it doesn't hurt you if you just dodge. No matter if it goes through you or not, it doesn't matter. Did you just stand still though for half a second? What's wrong? You're slow, city boy. Slow asshole. You think you're so clever. Yep. God damn it. I always miss that second shot, but the first shot does more damage than like the entire SMG, so it doesn't really matter. Come on, idiot. Go again. <laughs> you think you're so clever. Damn it. Going to crush you. Going to crush you. So many axes just hurling out at me. Okay, we're done throwing these. Okay, okay, time out, man. You're done. Hey, bro. I think I think we're done here. Can you just uh, let me? Okay. Last one. Okay. We're calling your mom. Come on. You gotta go home, kid. Can't, you don't have to get, go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Jesus H, George, stop. There we go. You think you're so clever. Anymore. Do you though? Oh yeah, it's a second form. Getting honor and Becky involved was all too easy. Carol and Thomas built a secret club for me. All we had to do was tell them about it, and they were giddy to join us immediately. Secret club? Where can I sign up? I used the seeds of honor and Becky. Amazing results, let me tell you. They went berserk. My cats. Anna, especially, enjoy the seeds. So I made my decision. I don't really, do the seeds get you high? She will be the first sacrifice for my immortality. They're just like steroids. George, your poetic prose is a bit confusing. Let me reword this so it makes sense. You chose Hana as your first victim, so you could be a first-degree murderer. <laughs> and you framed Thomas so it looked like he did. That's what we call a, a <laughs> FBI diss. You saw him, didn't you? The bar is very low in the Federal Bureau of Investigation for he knew her own shade. Being treated as a substitute for Emily. He knew that. Carol did too. But they played along with your sick games. Oh my, you're making me cry. <laughs> Here's the one who told me about the rainbow killer. About how to become Devon, too. He didn't believe any of it. But when he told me, it all made sense. I was 
I born in such a run-down dump? Why did my mother beat me every day? Why didn't Emily want me? Because you're a go? All these things are just preparing me for something. Ultimate power! Ah! Oh, he's getting huge. Oh, he's not five eleven anymore. Damn, look at that hair. He's getting ripped. With imagination like that, you belong in the zoo. The Hollywood zoo. <laughs> I don't know why the Hollywood zoo specifically. Oh god, his pants are ripping. Kill him quickly. Is it though? Because you're not taking it seriously. Because you suck? I've already taken half your health. Oh my god. You gotta do button combos now. Oh god! Now don't do that. Dude, yeah, you're fucking dead, bro. You're a big doo doo. Why do you keep getting these axes from? Got him. That was easier than the first time. I think there's one more form. Is that it? I can't remember. Mama, I didn't do anything bad. Why? Why are you doing this to me? It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Hey, have your mommy issues in hell, brother. No, you did kill those three women. This game gets bullshit crazy. I like it turns into Blanco. So concerned about this lock. I told you, I'm the chosen one. Only the chosen We're losing this fight for the truth, being the chosen one. That's what you. That's what you told me. Third form, baby. Third form. I am special. I am. I supposed to do here oh shoot the thing back at him i was like the controls were locked you couldn't move or anything <laughs> worst time to have a loading screen ever Because I'm the chosen one. No. You're a first degree murderer. <laughs> and I'm a federal agent. George, of course you're going to lose. Cold blood of your. Uh oh, it's a thunderstorm. 
And that hair is definitely conductive. All that hairspray go up in a second. Damn fried crispy. Oh, he looks like a tree! That's cool, the shadow's cool. It's the Y, the upside down peace sign. A little dramatic. Another chapter down. What chapter are we on now? Got like a gazillion dollars just being here. I wonder what chapter we're on. Twenty four. We have like this one. I think it's twenty six total. Dude, we are so close. Should we finish this tonight or tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe tonight. Now's a good time. You will also be able to return back soon. Late night stream. Sorry, I have like an itch here. My leg. <laughs> My butt cheek. Very soon, you'll be able to go back to where you came from. <laughs> Thanks for that input. <laughs> if you laugh too, we're not going to the last girl. Okay, well, fuck you. Yo, is that Thomas? Talk to Thomas. How you doing, girlfriend? You also need to have more fun. <laughs> I'll play with you a little if you like. I mean, now's not really the time, Thomas. And then it's Dad. Expect no praise. Uh, you did nothing but your duty. Not very nice, Dad. I feel you're not a very good dad. Hey, Mom. Francis, well done. I'm sure your father wants to congratulate you. No, he didn't. He didn't want to have anything to do with me, actually. Oh, God damn it! You do have to talk to everyone here. So we talked to Diane and Thomas, so we gotta talk to the other, like, two girls. God dang it. Some of them are marked as, like, quest conversations, like, in yellow, and some are not. So we just skipped this one. Who are you again? Carol? <laughs> yeah, whatever. And now it's open. Okay. We needed to do that. We're just gonna have to piddle paddle through the frickin' flowers. And then it's like, I think this is my favorite mission. I've been saying this for like the past like three hours that my favorite mission's coming up, but it has to be here soon, is the thing. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go with your parents yet. You mean die? Don't There's let me die. There's something you need to do. Washington. Open that envelope.
Uh oh. What could be in the envelope? It's his Playboy collection. And a sugar donut. Agent York, finally you're awake. How long have I been out? A whole day. Uh, plus what up, Polar Mike? How you doing, man? A premonition, a probably. Game, Thanks for stopping by the stream, dude. Sleep. Good to see you, man. Emily, which room is Emily in? Emily? What? She hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. What? I told Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Well, Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one. You love this game? It is such a good game. Which reminds we're gonna we're gonna run through it till the end here. Me to give you this. This has got to be one of my favorites. What is it? I don't know. He just asked me. Is that the fourth grader drew that map? Anyway, you solved the case, right? And a sorta. Hey, do you want to play some chess? Do the thing, York. Do the thing. I'll have to take a rain check. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to. Check made him in five seconds. Just be like, no, 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 no. Move this, this, this. I win. He's not gonna do it. Zach, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, you don't know the half of it, York. You thought it was bad before. You thought it was bad with the the Blanca man coming out of George. It's like a fourth grade drew this doesn't it, Zach? Yeah, basically. Yeah, a lot of these maps are like, ooh, my god. You very clearly uploaded this, like, scribble. It's like, your handwriting's clearly not very good. Hmm? That's the charm of the game, though. Oh, shit. Key from Kaysen. I got map. Dirk using Zack as a way to be passive aggressive to everyone he meets. He doesn't even need to be passive aggressive. He's aggressive when he feels like it. Especially when he first comes to town, he's just like such an asshole to everyone. It's so funny. I truly believe George was the murderer that we were after. But killing of course, did not solve all the murders related to the Red Seas. I do not know if what Harry said is true at all. Answer to the mystery of those red seas. Where am I going? I feel like I'm going the wrong way here. Oh, I absolutely am. I left Emily alone as I slept through an entire day. I mean, you were recovering. Things have not gone too far. You don't got to be so hard on yourself. All we can do is go to the location written in Casey's letter. Okay, I thought by just going through it, it would have been faster, but I think if I just turned around. It definitely would have been easier. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm playing on the Switch version too, which I don't know if you are familiar or not, Polar Mike, but the driving is the only thing that kind of gets weird. Usually the cars are pretty sluggish. Uh, oh shit, I forgot about those dogs. Um, but in the, in the Switch version, it's the exact opposite problem, whereas they spin out of control all the time. You've never played the game? You haven't? Oh, it's an experience. I mean, if you watch the game, you get, you know, you get most of it. But by playing it, it's like, the jank kind of seeps in. You get you get a deeper appreciation for the jank. Each, the thing about Deadly Premonition too is that each version of the game is jank in totally different ways. Like, the 360 has the best frame rate, but probably, like, the shooting is probably the worst. And then after that, they released the PS3 version, which is the director's cut. And they fixed the shooting, but, like, the frame rate was crap. Then the PC version came out, and the game in general just does not want to... Just hates being alive. They gave the game, like, a will to destroy itself. And it just, at any opportunity, will crash itself. And then they came out with the Switch version. And whereas the driving and all the other ones, the controls were sluggish, in this one, if I, like... This is just me going right. There you go. Just like, that was me tapping right. Like, watch this. Like, watch. Watch this shit. Like, 
Here. We'll go this way. Oh shit. Oh, this is really hard for me to do backwards, actually. Jesus. That maybe doesn't illustrate anything. It illustrates that I can't drive backwards. But it's it's hard to explain. It's so touchy that if you just tap the right stick, it shifts everything. Everything. So the, each version of the game is a little bit... None of the, the games, the version of the game are the definitive version, which I kind of think is hilarious. They're all bad in totally different ways. That said, I feel like even though people say the Switch version has like really bad um, crashing problems, I don't. I think it actually has the best crashing. Uh, I think it personally crashes the least for me on the Switch compared to like the PC version which I've played. I don't remember the 360 version ever really crashing on me, but I do like the improved uh, gameplay mechanics of the director's cut versions. I'm telling you, the original on OG 360 hardware, is that, do you think that's the best one? You know, for a game like this, I'd probably get the, the original version. But isn't the shooting, like, harder? Is it, like, way harder of a game? I don't know, to be honest. Because for me, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather take, like... I think it's tank controls. Actually, that's what people complain about? I love tank controls. If it's just tank controls, then I would, I'm actually, maybe I will buy this on the 360 very shortly. I love tank controls. I get mad, I was just playing like Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. And the entire time I was complaining it didn't have tank controls. Especially with like fixed camera angles, it's, it's really like, once you get the hang of it, it's real easy. It's so much easier than like regular controls in my opinion, which I know is an unpopular opinion. But especially with fixed camera games, I would never, ever want not tank controls. George's house. I can't remember if this is itself like one of those other world areas, or if it's just like a inspection zone that we just gotta find the key items. But I love tank controls. You will never find me hating on tank controls. I guess it's not another world. This is most strange, Zack. I thought the story was all over. But it looks like there's something else before we get to see the ending. Oh yeah, there sure is. Just wait, York. Just wait. There sure is something. Wow, he lives like this, Zack. Wow, the decor really could use an updating, huh, Zack? This is the wire find at each crime scene. Should we send this as an evidence, or do we no longer need to? No, it's still evidence. You still gotta worry about evidence. What is that noise? The fuck? What was that noise? I heard, did you guys hear that little like trumpeting? It's like gone. It's like only around those like tarps. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Stuffed deer. The best way to hide a secret door is with a tarp in front of it. This is the exact same size of the door. <gasps> Where's that music coming from? Is it downstairs, maybe? There's nothing else. Well, actually, there might be something in here. 
It seems like the tarps are making the noise. The doorways. Why are the doors making this music? And now it's going. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Is it just bleeding sound from downstairs, maybe? Oh, we may as well use this and heal up. This game's got some mysterious bits to it. I have no idea what that is about. This one wasn't making noise though. This one's totally silent. Maybe it is like coming from down here. It's like the stairway. This one, Deadly Premonition, Director's Cut. This cannon alludes to Deadly Premonition too. Huh. It's official report. Yes, I need to fire 100 submachine gun rounds to destroy the mannequins to grab an item. Oh yeah, the bull. I mean, yeah. If they were, if they were, had any idea how much ammo I've Zach, blown with this infinite like submachine gun. Really had a thing for Emily. Yeah, we knew that. It's also been writing on the walls, which is a you know classic, not well thing to do. So this is absolutely hiding something. Yeah, the federal agent, the FBI would have some choice things to say about my liberal use of the infinite machine gun. Uh oh. Right now the wall's either really not good sign or a really good sign, no in between. Uh -oh. Meeting the mother is always a bad experience after killing the son. York, it's not the time. Never mind, I'm stone and can't read. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this whole game was, like, series was planned out a little bit. Zack. Look. What? What? What was that? Was it the peace sign? That wasn't a reversed peace mark. It was a tree. It's, it's such a funny, like, reveal because we've already seen the seeds red in these red trees. Red it's like, red yeah, we already knew that that's poisoning tree. the groundwater here and that's what's causing it. You're telling me the tree was a hint to a tree. Exactly. <laughs> this tree isn't an upside down peace mark. It's a tree. <laughs> Jason. He's the one. The world, worst looking tree in the world. Come on to the theater. There's the cow. Oh. Emily. I don't know what it said. And down to the theater. There's the final curtain shall rise. FK in the coffee. That was apparently a chapter. So now it has to be my all time favorite chapter. It has to be right now. Oh, I fucking love it. It's my fucking favorite. My favorite part of the game. York, I'm sorry, but we need man. more evidence in that initials appearing in your coffee cup. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not really admissible evidence. Oh, I know. <laughs> Amazing Grace. Money. We're just trying to get that to play. This is the part. This is the part. 1956 
the real the real deal. This is my favorite part of the whole game. I was like, oh, all film grainy and spooky and shit, right? All these zombies. Oh, the raincoat killer. Oh, first person perspective. Getting in the mind of a killer with my big axe. <laughs> oh yeah, super evil voice and shit. Very cool, right? There! Over there! Oh, they're gonna cut, try and swarm them. We were all the raincoat killer all along! Oh, there it is. I forgot I would attack for a second with melee weapons. I've been using them for so long. Where's the music, though? They're just playing the generic music, though. This is very Alan Wake. Alan Wake's a great team, too. Here it is. Just get some psychopathically murder people to amazing grace. <laughs> it's like, why is this in the game? This is a song about freeing the slaves. Why is this in the game? Why? Why? <laughs> so funny. Oh, it kills me every fucking time. <laughs> it just kills me. And it's telling me to go over there, but I don't think you actually can't do anything. You don't understand. You're right. I don't understand. I will give you that one. I don't get this art. Why is that fire just floating there? He's... Maybe you have to go around? I can't remember. You see what's happening is amazing and it's the a it's the and the axe grace. Axe is grace. Oh, I see. We're liberating people. Like this. Is that this the intent of the song? Oh, you see I was wrong the whole time. I thought it was like a very like very important song about like freeing the slaves and shit. And like the grace is like the concept of freedom and stuff. But no, it was the axe, actually. <laughs> oh, there is an exit here. Oh, I'm stupid. Well, if we have to redo this part, I'll just laugh through it again. Uh, this is my favorite part of the game. I love this part. And then the flames are just just floating in front of the car. Why? Why? Did, that's not how fire works. Oh my god, it's so good. And these people that's just like businessmen in the fucking park. <laughs> like they do. Yeah, they all do that. That's true, I forgot. All fire actually does do that all the time. It is running around murdering people and they're still playing Amazing Grace. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the fire before. Oh, I mean, how could you not, man? This is or been to church. Oh, you haven't seen any fire before or been to church. No, it's exactly like that. That's how it works. Oh yeah, if you thought you were gonna you weren't gonna get that second verse of Amazing Grace. Oh no, they're doubling down on it. We're doubling down on it. Oh man. Now this is basically what church is as far as I know. Floating guy on fire! Now the fire's floating and the guy's floating too. It's all floating, baby. I don't know where these rocks came from. This is the middle of the road. There's no fucking mountain or anything around here. Ah, that's fine. Just like the Bible said. Yep. I mean, maybe the train was carrying a bunch of rocks? It's possible. I can't remember if it goes to 10 or 12. I hope it's 12, because otherwise we're going to have to redo it. And listen to this beautiful segment all over again. Oh, 
This beautiful segment. I love this fucking part of the game. There's a dead body just sitting up on nothing. Bunch of things in the road. Truly top moment of gaming of time. Absolutely for me. This is the part I think of whenever I think of Deadly Premonition. I obviously think of like the memes and stuff. Like the FK in the coffee. <laughs> Things like that. And like his dumb smile. But then right after that, I think, I just think of Amazing Grace just murdering people. I think I fucked up. Yeah, I goofed around for too long laughing at this. Oh, he's gonna- oh, he broke in! The lock got jammed in there. <laughs> that was great. Oh no, they're just going in there. That's fine. We'll make it. It's generous of them to give me the time frame. I thought I was just gonna have to redo it. More Amazing Grace, fuck yeah. No, apparently it's just, now it's just the normal sound. They've already played Amazing Grace. There's no encore. Go home. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Nah, we're going up there. We're gonna stop this, because apparently the serial killer was actually the good guy the whole time. The Gubberman was just pumping this place full of gas for no reason. <laughs> As the Gubberman do. <laughs> Thank God for that, that really uh, principled murderer, that serial killer that just killed like 10,000 people in the town. And is going to do the right thing and kill this other guy, too. Or try. Oh no, it's all my friends. And Keith has a chainsaw. Put that down, buddy. You're going to hurt yourself. The kids Daddy, are okay for whatever mommy reason. Mommy and Grandpa, everyone's acting strange. It's okay. Yo, does Michael Tilton have a katana? I knew he was a weeb. Oh, those little bitches. Huh? I'll kill all you fools. Damn, with safety scissors. Not very nice. Michael Tilton's got a katana. Folded over a thousand times. I need to get inside. Bullet and all the skulls. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. You know, I do have my my submachine gun does hold 360 bullets, which is more than enough to kill 360 adults. <laughs> and maybe a couple kids. Being controlled by unknown force. Let's try not to hurt them if we can. Nah, let's not. Because we don't really have to hurt them ever. We can just do that. Very easy. Nah, sorry, not Don Knotts. I don't want to shoot people like Keith. Keith's a good man. Plus, I don't know if there's side quests or stuff I want to do. The question is, do I shave? Nah, let's just keep growing it out, brother. Revenge. Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? Yeah, why not? Very well. Off you Ruenge. go. Now they did all right. Maybe Michael Till. I should have killed Michael Tillotson. Is what I should have killed. God dang it! I should have found Michael <laughs> Tillotson and killed him. George Next time I stream this game, you better be there. Remind me. Left to run. George. All right, George. <laughs> oh, this part's hard. I forgot about this part. I gave him a toy locket, and he was so 
impressed. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> but he wasn't very intelligent. He was born in this town. Bad public school and system took him too long to discover the Red Seeds. Binding down people as rules is a sign of small mindedness. And that was what George represented in life. I'm taking Emily. Yeah, get out of the way, Peter Griffin. Oh, but I can't allow that now, can I? York, you left her to me in my care. Remember, I told you to come with us, didn't I? Why'd you undo her shirt, man? That's gross. But you didn't come. You chose your job over the woman that you love. Casey. This chit chat is over. Oh, indeed it is. My fun with Emily ended just a moment ago. It was a fantastic moment. Ooh. <laughs> like eating a full court dinner that ends with the ultimate dessert. Ooh. I fed her a fake story about my past. And she took in every word. <laughs> Cut out your nonsense. I told you, no more talk. Just shoot him, man. You know you're going to have to shoot him. There you go, York. That's right. <laughs> Feel the hate boiling from the bottom of your Sith heart. Lord Peter Griffin. That's what makes little men create such great and amazing history. Just like tiny ants that make giant ant hills. <laughs> you know, I just had just reciting to... Slipknot lyrics now. <laughs> no wonder why I keep failing at keeping a diet. Casey, stop. The next one will pierce you between your eyes. <laughs> Ew, dude. Stop drooling. York. Emily, it's me. I'm here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. York? Is that you? Oh, thank God. York. I... Emily, no. We're not exactly twins, Emily. York. York. Ew. Emily! <laughs> oh. You nasty. York, I'm, I'm sorry, I... It's okay, Emily. Hurry, come over here. We need to get you to the hospital. I, I can't, I... I can't go to you. I've... I've been soiled. No, that's not true. It's okay, you, you can just get a new pair of pants. No matter what happens to your body, you are still yourself. York. I... 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 Yeah, that's wild. Shit goes crazy in this game. Uh, oh, didn't I tell you? Getting these saplings to sprout requires a, a certain technique. <laughs> what do you think? Artistic, isn't it? It's like a surrealistic painting. Can you try that word again, brother? A surrealistic? <laughs> What should I do? 
Uh, I have tried to shoot Emily before. That is not what you're supposed to do, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that just ends in game over. I'm sorry, my darling. <sighs> Let her go! <sighs> Oh, Forrest Kaysen was there too, huh? Xander, it's too late. Once it's like Why was he there? Do anything to stop it. Please. What is the context of this? Shoot me. Yourself doesn't work. This plot twist was dumb. Oh, it's so dumb. What? It's like, and he's like an immortal being that's lived since like 1950 in the same weird gross farmer body. Crazy that he didn't remember his mom turning into a tree. That all he remembered is dad shooting his mom. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Yes, I, I couldn't do it. However, you can. When the time comes, and you have to make that decision, make the right one. I mean, why? She's gonna okay, die anyway, Zach. right? <laughs> oh my god! That was so fast! Zack. 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 Oh, and he was Zack. Now that's a pretty. This is a cool plot twist. That York and Zach are like, Zach. not really. They're not even split personalities. They're literally like two, like two different people in the same person's body. That took me forever to figure out. I was like, what the fuck? The first time I played this game I was like, uh, the hell. And a prostitute yeah. apparently didn't give him that scar. Apparently it was freaking Kaysen. It's okay. I'm here. I'm with you. I'll be with you always. We can get through this together. Who are you? My name is York. Me and you. We'll always be together. Okay, Zach? I'm you, and you are me. Now, give me your hand. Yeah, Zach is sick. Yeah! I remember. Oh, that scars from Kaysen. It's a different one. With York. I don't know how that works, but... other me. My other personality. Wrong with your legs. York, what should I do? Tell me what to do, York. Zach, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. I'll be with you no matter what you decide. Don't worry. You shit, Kaysen. You deserve to live. I don't deserve to live. Well, unfortunately, I've always been more than human. I'm a messenger of the Red Tree, a citizen from the Red World! The Red That's World. enough, Kaysen. A demon from the Red World. 
I like the dancing midget in Twin Peaks better. That guy seemed to know what was up. Jason, you're just creepy. So that was the wrong choice. Zach, you made the wrong choice. Well, you said you'd be with me no matter what, man. Don't give up. Think carefully. Father's words will guide us. Now again, focus on reality, Zach. Okay, we'll start again. Try again. Guess the wrong one. I remember, I don't think it's Emily. I'm pretty sure it's not to shoot Emily. Because I remember the first time I did that and I was like, okay, well, that's what my dad said. And then I did it, it was like, well, what the fuck? But I thought that was it, but I guess it's not. Let's see what Zach. other options there are. Zach, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. There's shoot yourself, but that doesn't even I'll make sense. No what you decide. Don't shoot Kaysen. And this doesn't make sense, but I'll do it. Emily, I can't shoot you. Damn, I've never seen this before? <laughs> like father, like son, taking the same path. And to think York went through all that pain. I guess I am supposed to shoot Emily. Out of the red room. I thought I wasn't supposed to shoot Emily. Zach! No! Emily, we only had a short time together. But well, we're getting all the endings you. now. Goodbye. <laughs> Damn, dude, look at all that blood! Yeah, and then that happens. Okay, we get we get the point. Yeah, okay, I can see the seam by the way on the on the skybox there. Well, if you guys knew that, Zach, anyone wants to take it. You made the wrong choice. Okay, but don't give up. You did. You said no matter what I chose, you'd go with me. But father's words will guide us. Okay, I guess you do shoot him. I guess I totally misremember. Now again, focus on reality, Zach. Okay, we'll try it again. It's shoot Emily. Whatever you do, don't shoot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> shoot Emily. Shoot the shit out of Emily. That's how you win this game. You shoot Emily. All right. Yep, we saw this a million times. Zach, you have to yes, decide for yourself. We're going to decide it. It's got to be right now. There's only one option. I'll be with you no matter what you decide. That's not true. You will not be with me no matter what. You will be with me only if I shoot Emily. There are some things in this world that must be extracted. No matter what. Even if that means losing someone that you love. Damn, dude, that's cold. Nah, you can't do it. That's why I thought you didn't do it. I can't. Because he doesn't actually do I it. I can't do it. I can't kill Emily. I'm sorry, Zach. Stop. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. Oh, that looks painful. I could have just given you the gun. Emily! Yeah, that's a lot of blood, too. And gentlemen, and now the grand finale. <laughs> Jason, you dirtbag. <laughs> Emily, what have you done? Zach, I wasn't used as soil. 
at all. Oh, that's what... When she said she was soiled, she literally meant she had been turned into soil. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not really what that word means. I mean, kind of, but not... I mean, in this context, kind of, but not normally, no. Gotta head to bed, catch, you, catch the VOD. Good night. Yeah, good night, Not Thought Nots. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night, dude. We're defo finishing this tonight. We got like, I think there's three forms to this boss, and that's kind of it. <laughs> she became a goddess of the forest, York. You done Emily, fucked no. up. You aren't supposed to go over there, York. You didn't save that's anyone. Come back, Emily. You saved no one, York. York and Zach. Finally, I understand. You two really are best friends. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Yeah, best friends doesn't even begin to describe it. We are literally trapped in the same body. Oh, you son of a bitch, York. You're gonna hey, cuck hey, me. Stand up, Zach. It's up to you now. Emily, I finally got to meet you face to face, but you had to go with York, didn't you? He always gets the girl. <laughs> Even he knows what I'm talking about. You see that too, right? He kept talking to me and ended up pulling me back out of that room. I'm sure he'll make you very happy. Oh, but Zach is cool too. I do like that they have like totally different characters, for the most part. Yeah, this is not your plan, is it, Kason? You jerk. Why did you bring Zach back? Who the hell are you two? How did you get out of the Red Room? <laughs> oh no, he's getting huge! Oh no. Oh no. You. I remember this fight being incredibly hard. Zach, go back to the ring. I won't do that. It's showtime. Oh, God. Might be easier to switch to the shotgun. Oh god damn it. It's out of ammo. Where's my reticle? Come on. Where's my aiming reticle? God damn it. Right when I got it on him. <laughs> uh -oh. That's the one that hits you. Be careful about that one. Now this is a little bit better. That's not so bad. God damn it. 
Radical is really good. <laughs> it's like not hitting them really. I don't know why that is. It's a, just a bizarre hit box, I think. What? Oh god! God damn it! Now that's why I remember it being so hard. God damn it! So okay, here's what the strat actually is. I think it's spray and pray with this thing until he falls down. Actually, you don't even really need to spray and pray. You can just spray it. I did more damage that time than I normally do when he falls. Now, you switch to the shotgun CQB. Blast! There we go. This is the strat. And the music has stopped for reasons. <laughs> Let's quickly get a reload. Here. Oh, you. No! God damn it! Those I will never know what buttons are on the Switch controller. Why did they have to make it backwards from Xbox, man? Okay, that's how it worked. You gotta sprint, that's the reason why. And I don't have to do button press. I think I have to do it for the next uh, form of the boss, though. Whoa, what the noise? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so bad at all. I remember the first time I did that was much worse. Yuck. Can I talk about, uh, so Harry? So I think it is Harry. He has the same neck things as Harry. I agree. Blast. And I really don't like having to exercise. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, right. Red tree! Red tree! <laughs> Yikes. Now, this is the boss I could never finish on the PC version. This is the boss that it literally the frame rate broke this. I dared to play this game at a frame rate that wasn't like 30 frames per second, so this boss never spawned. So I had to wait until the Switch version came out to actually beat the game. Which is wild. Like I said, every version's got its own pros and cons. Now this is going to be the hard one because you got to do all the button the button presses. But it's not like the other ones I don't think where it's like so incredibly uh, specific. I think the only thing that happens is you just have to um, you only have to you only take damage I think, which is fine. That bit's fine.
Damage is okay, because we could heal through damage. We just can't get the instant fail states, you know what I mean? That's what the only deaths I've had in this whole series, <laughs> this whole playthrough has been when it was, uh... The raincoat killer insta-killing me with a quick time event. This part is so freaking long, though. <laughs> so far, we're doing pretty good. I've like I have enough time to like look down at the buttons and remember that X is actually Y and B is actually A, and vice versa. <laughs> oh, I did not look at that. Though. In fact, let me just uh, give it, get, put a little medium med kit on right now, if they don't mind. Just the medium first aid. <laughs> Gotta itch my leg, man. Oh god, keep running, keep running. Come on, Zach. Let's do this. I don't remember the the final form of this boss though. I don't remember what comes after this at all. How much I play Switch games, you think I'd know the Switch controls by now? But, and how little I play like Xbox games? But no. What? Oh he coming. Oh big boys are coming. What? I'll squash you like a frog. <laughs> you a frog. <laughs> nice one, idiot. Hope we're almost done. My thumb is getting tired. I'm like using my palm and my thumb. I'm alternating between the two so I don't like wake up with like a broken wrist or like a twisted thumb. Yeah! We did it. I know there's another form on this, I just don't know what it is. Sick. Oh, I kind of remember this. Oh, I definitely remember this. This boss is kind of wonky, too. Nice one, idiot. You a dumb frog. Yeah, baby frog. Emily, I will avenge your death. <laughs> Just a moment longer. I'll buy you a new dress to make up for all the pain I've caused you. I don't think she's going to need a new dress. She's dead. The dress you wore when you came to my hotel room didn't seem to fit you right. This is gonna be another backwards compliment. Backhand a compliment, rather. Who could the final boss be? It's Largo Kaysen. Extra, extra, extra Largo Kaysen. I gotta admit that the bosses were more interesting than I expect from this game. Except for, like, George. George was, like, kind of a boring boss. It's like, shoot the large glowy thing. It's a pretty standard video game trope. But other than that, I've been meaning to tell you it was pretty interesting. You're one crazy guy. <laughs> now, this might take a minute to figure out what to do here. Oh, you're supposed to shoot the doll. I'll do that.
Come on, hitbox. God, the hitbox is hard to get. Oh, it's hard to see without the reticle. Do I shoot him? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the, the thing. Just like, damn, this is gonna take a long time if that's the case. Ouchers. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, Magnum Bullets. I don't- I never got the Magnum, actually. I don't know where I missed it. You know what might be better? Uh, let's try instead of the... That, let's try the shotgun. Because sometimes the shotgun does some- has some really weird properties. Uh-oh. Oh, don't do that. No, oh, I said don't do that. God dang it! Well, let's try it. God damn it. No! Yeah, it's hard to hard to dodge that. Oh god. That was going to be the money shot, of course. God damn it. Yeah, we need to heal up too. Yeah, I think this is not this is a non-starter starter, I think, cuz the incredible amount of kickback, I think it's kind of hard to do that. That is like impossible to dodge. Let's try. Do we have the sheriff custom. There we go. Let's stand a little bit farther back. See if we can't dodge that a little bit better when he does the thing. That is way better. All right. Sheriff Custom, 9mm, let's go. Yeah, this is easier to dodge back here. That is for sure. Yeah, much easier. This is the this is the weapon to use. It's almost like a Devil May Cry or like Bayonet or something. Sometimes the bosses, it seems like they have weaknesses. But you're probably not even, that's probably not programmed, but. It does seem like it sometimes, which is kind of funny. It does. Just the one? That's interesting. What are those items over here? Magnum bullets, which I don't have the Magnum. And 5.56. Five, five, I never got the assault rifle either. I missed, like, the two good weapons. I don't know why. I've definitely never missed the Magnum before. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know if I've ever got the assault rifle. I don't remember ever using it. This is much easier to aim. This is definitely the trick. Thanks for just standing still there for that little uh, bit. Nope, 
Nano! You're distracting me. Even when you're not in my stream, you're distracting me. should have like one health left and he's gonna turn around now this part tricked me up so hard he turns around and what is he doing right he's doing something there something shady it's case and of course he's doing something shady he's like looking around like some mischievous or whatever and he's like where the fuck's the thing though we shoot the hand nothing happens He does that though. And you can climb up it. Now, why would you want to do that? You might be asking yourself. Because he hid the thing down here. And you gotta shoot it once, and that's it. He hid the thing in his front pocket. It takes so it took me so long to figure out that that's what it was. Because you don't understand humans. Very interesting one-liner. That's up there with like the System Shock 2, like, nah. <laughs> Nasty. Don't cool guys don't look at explosions. Chunk though is looking pretty big and it's coming right for us. You're about to be doused in black, disgusting alien goo liquid. Good shit. Good shit indeed. <gasps> now that's. that's no good. You can't stab ladies. That's not, that's frowned upon generally. Damn, it's late. It's almost 12. Well, I did finish it before Emily, my bedtime, though. York tries not to show it, but he's pretty shy. Don't wait for him to propose. Just ask him to marry you. Well, at least we know they don't really live happily ever after, but at least they're together in, like, the white heaven mind space hmm. thing or whatever. Oh, break that. Fucking shoot that right now. It's like a dog toy. Hell yeah. hours with a bunch of side content too not bad it's a long game though it's a pretty long one you always get surprised like the first time you play it because you think oh this you know cheapo double a game like maybe it's only going to be like a 10 hours at the most kind of experience and no you could be playing this game for 30 hours easy you want to do all the side content and stuff absolutely you could good bang for your buck i don't i just was there just there. I don't need to see that. It's the epilogue, baby. Got head trauma. Hey, Harry's are you back. Today? Maybe. Where are you? Zach, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believed you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. 
Yeah, how, like, who painted that? Why? It's like all of the women Harry, that got murdered. I have a few questions for yeah, you. Would you mind coming down to the FBI About for me? what, Zach? Your last name is really Stewart, is it? Yeah, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry Woodman. George was my son. Oh. You that's were there the... in the white room. How weird. There. Why? The same what a weird twist. Your father. Long, long ago, I too was unable to shoot my wife. You just go to the web heaven if you don't shoot your wife. <laughs> That's a pretty low standard. Which is why I lost both. The woman I loved and my son. My wife Boy, suffered got from wrong. mental illness, but I still loved her. I wanted to save George, too, if I could. Everything was my fault. If only I had the courage to make the right decision, Emily and the other girls would not have died. But you have put an end to all of that. I'm kind of sore. Happy. Zach, no need to worry about that. They're freaking dead. York will guide Emily and the other girls into the forest. Kind of, it's a weird as hell ending, but it's pretty cool actually. It's definitely unexpected. It's not like something you'd expect to see from, you know, random Twin Peaks ass game. Hey, Michael, mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zach Morgan. Francis Zach Morgan. I heard you're leaving. Oh, for a second, the kids were making the dog noises. Yep. Those kids are going to have a really fucked up child, uh, childhood. Knowing that literally everyone except for their mom died, who's a girl in the city. <laughs> uh-huh. That's right. I'm glad you agree with me, Zach. It's a shame about Emily, and the other girls, too. How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. Well, they'll figure that out, I guess. Give him, like, a few months. Give it to him yourself. He's right next to you. Oh, they can see her. Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> we'll do it for you. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. Yeah, See? but where, though? She's over there. There's another Zach there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zach. She really likes you. No, she doesn't. Not me. She really likes that guy, York. The guy you see standing next to her. Anyways, you two. Be nice to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. <laughs> girls are boring. Let's eat boogers and shit. See ya. Gotta love him. Just full of energy.
Emily. York. Sounds like you're both doing fine. I feel better about you two now. And hey, York. I figured out why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. You weird wife. Mr. Francis Zach Morgan, if you are finished, if you are, please let us return to the car. No need for that. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Very well, then. I'm sure Mr. Stewart will approve of that. Ah, thank you, Michael. Good man, good man. That's that. And there is some side content here. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I kind of want to go on to the next game. Oh. Beep boop? What was that beep boop? It's definitely save. There is some side content. Let's just see what it is here. There is, of course, there's another. There's actually probably a couple of psychic maps. Because I know you can get an infinite um, revolver and you probably can get an infinite. Uh, what's it called? Assault rifle. And I know if you get all the cards, you get an infinite rocket launcher. There's actually not that many quests here yet. Like, you can do stuff. Like, there's some certain things you can do. But for the most part, like, we did we did a whole lot of it. Not everything, obviously. I mean, there's all these... The black ones and the red ones are ones we didn't finish. We did a lot of them. Pretty good amount, honestly. So. We can get one more. There's one more Sigourney, which we missed. We never, we never picked up our car. That one's basically done. Didn't do any of the Wesley the Gunsmith ones. That's just turning in trading cards. Uh, Pleasant Keith's Garage. Yeah, after dudes on rainy days. And I think these two are Michael and Harry. These are definitely ones we can do post game. There's one for Keith post game. That one's returning the guitar to him. Or you mission missing. Yeah, we missed that one. And the Emily ones we never did. The Thomas one we didn't do. I don't know what the Thomas one is. I don't remember what that one is. Diane and Carol we didn't do. We did a lot of it. So that's going to be it for the playthrough, I think. You know, there's not that whole much else to do. So thank everyone for turning in. Thank everyone for lurking and everyone who showed up tonight. I appreciate all of you. Uh, we'll be streaming it probably again tomorrow. Probably we'll play a new game. We'll probably play uh, Stubbs the Zombie, a game I haven't played before, but everyone kind of wanted me to play on the Discord. So, tune in for that. Thank you very much. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.